BB key! <clears throat> Daichi! You wait long? Sorry about that. Nah, it's fine. So how'd you do on the exam? You had to do okay. Hmm. Not sure about mine. But you should really try studying next time. <sighs> You're so much better at testing than I am. I'm lucky to get my stinking name on the page. You got that right. Huh? But a practice exam shouldn't be such a big deal anyway. Whatever, smartass. Hello? A new dead face clip has been uploaded! <laughs> You're headed to college, right, Hibiki? I mean, that's why you're taking all these practice tests on Sunday, right? Yeah, for now. Besides, I can't think of a better way to spend Sunday. Sounds like you. Still not sure what I'm doing. Huh? Well, think about it. If you manage to get into college, what are you gonna do when you get there? Well, find something I want to do. Okay, so what do you want to do? Uh, go on dates and trips and stuff? <laughs> And go driving! Daichi just got his license! So you want to goof off? All that work is for losers. Oh, really? Then what do the winners do? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just so nervous. It's like somebody else controls our future or something. Yeah, that's true. Right? We're freaking hopeless. We're just students, and that's nobody. There must be more to life than that. Hmm... Uh, that's right. There's hmm? something I've been wanting to show you all day. Come on. Want to see? What is it? Hey, give me your uh, phone a second. And hang on. Ta-da! Nikoya? Yeah, it's Dead Face. A very secret but totally awesome app. Dead Face? <laughs> that's right. You register for the site, and then you can see what the faces of your friends look like when they die. So when you eat it, I'm gonna get a picture of your face the moment you died? It doesn't have to be me, but yeah, that's what it's all about. Hmm? Huh. You know that guy at school who died last week? His dead face clip came up right before the accident. No way! That did not really happen. See? Wow. It's already popular, dude. I'll let you know when a new clip of one of your friends has been uploaded. Alrighty then! Have a nice day! <laughs> it's trippy, right? Super uh. scary. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> I can't wait for the next clip! So anyway, the really funny part about the whole thing is that he left... Uh, huh? What? Over there. It's Iomita from Class C! Okay. Friend of yours? Uh-uh. I wish she was a friend of mine, if you know what huh? I mean. 
Looks like she's coming home from a practice exam. She's pretty, isn't she? Yeah, I guess. Come on, you're kidding me. Look at her. Well, she's your type, right? Yeah, I guess she is. Oh. Oh. Whoa, looks like a video's already up on Dead Face. Let's see. It's a joke, you know. Oh, come on, it's just supposed to be for fun. I mean, they gotta be doing it with Photoshop or something. The clip was filmed here, man. Freaky. <laughs> Daichi, I think we should go. Uh, uh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 There's no possible way I could have survived all that. Uh, uh, Daichi! Ow. Uh. Huh? The heck was that? Hang on, you're bleeding. Huh? You okay? Um. Uh, yeah. We've got to call for help. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, you see that? A survivor! Uh, are you guys okay? Uh. <laughs> what is that? thing <sighs> because of this what is going on 
What kind of app is this? Demons. From Deadface. Huh? Huh? Earlier, when the subway car went off the tracks, I was asked if I wanted to live or die. It asked <sighs> me to. So weird. Same here. I told the app that I wanted to live. Deadface just sent me this app without asking me whether I wanted it or not. Huh? Deadface? Why would it do that? I don't know. <gasps> This is one of the demons, all right, but I think it was protecting us. Is that some function that's built into the app? And what about the ones that attacked us? Maybe we're not the only ones who were forced to download this thing, Daichi. It's just all those people died in the crash, and then those things started showing up. What were those demon things? I wish I knew, man. I do, but something attacked us back there. A friend invited me uh to join. That's how I knew about it, but I, I didn't sign up for it. Well, he didn't register for it either. <gasps> we can't stay here, you guys. Can you walk? Uh-huh. Let's get moving. Yeah. Move that! Hurry! This is crazy. It's a freaking mess out here. It's bad. Do you think those things caused all this? Hang on. What is this thing sending me now? Are you there? Yeah, I'm in Shibuya. I'm here with Ibuki. Huh? Hey, Mom. Are you there? What do we do? Nothing's working. Move it, people. Coming through. Get out of the way. Move it. Let's go. Hey, a subway train overturned on the platform. There's still survivors huh? down back, there. Kid. Stand aside, please. Who the hell are you? In accordance with Article 404 of the Special Disaster Management Act, we're taking charge of this site. 404? What are you talking about? You don't hold up a rescue effort over some uh, bureaucratic nonsense. Let us work! The situation is still dangerous. Please respect our authority there in this matter. There are people dying in there! That's right, Chief. Hey, Hibiki. Uh, it looks like both your and my folks got out safe. I lost the call while we were talking, so that's all I know. Oh, yeah? Nita, have you gotten through to them yet? No. Uh, what part of town are you from? Huh? I'm in Ariaki. That's far. And we probably can't use the trains. Uh, let's get out of here. Where should we go? Your place in Ariaki. Oh, I like that. Staying here won't solve anything. Let's see how close we can get to it. I'm grateful for your cooperation. <sighs> Unbelievable. The Setagaya area isn't good. We've had extensive damage and several casualties. I see. So it started, hasn't it? Warning signs have been around since antiquity. Don't get scared on me now. We've received multiple reports of Case D manifestation. As of this moment, use of the summoning program is permitted at your discretion. Aye! Sako 2 Control, we're shifting to Defense Readiness State 2. Please refresh the system. Case D is not the problem here. Humankind must survive this day of judgment even if it means turning those demons loose to get the job done. Oh man, why can't 
I delete this app? So, uh, your names are Daichi and Hibiki, aren't they? I'm sorry, I'm sure you're worried about your families, but I was just thinking, you shouldn't worry about me. No, we're fine. It looks like our families are safe for now. After what just happened, we should probably stick together for a while. And try to learn more about this app. Still can't make a call? Mm -hmm. If I knew the day was gonna turn out like this, I never would have taken that practice exam. Mm -hmm. I told the demon I didn't want to die. Maybe we've been possessed. I don't think so. <laughs> it's like we're being tested by something bigger. Okay, by whom? I don't know, but that's the feeling I get. Hey! <laughs> Got some drinks from the store over there. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> Bet you can't beat me at rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> You're oh. on. <laughs> Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. I guess that makes it 10 and 0. Uh. What the? This cannot be good. Watch out! You gotta get away from that thing! Oh, Chappy, come back! Peter! <laughs> 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 what is that thing? I don't know. Nita, the summoning app. Huh? That thing that came out of your phone didn't attack us. It might be dangerous, but it's all we've got right now. Uh, okay. I think it's protecting us. It looks like it's gonna explode again. Fancy that! You have a new dead face clip! Huh? Wait, this is Daichi! You demon! Daichi! Daichi! Coming through! Don't do it! Daichi! Unregistered D data confirmed in the area of Shimbashi Station. It's a different format from our program. Form structure detected. Immeasurable. Switch over to Osaka. Retrieving camera feed. Manifestation. Avatar. Pyako. <laughs>
did it. Uh, it's gone. Daichi! Daichi. Hey! Huh? Up here! Huh? Daichi! So, it looks like there's another one in there. That boy? He summoned Biako. Secure them. Now. <laughs> We're a special government organization. We're the Japan Meteorological <laughs> Society. The JPs. The three of you are coming with us. JPs? I found you. Oh, sparkling one. Nothing that any commoner should call for. What's going to happen to us? Because you're now? the only one who needs to know the truth. God, huh? Because we summoned this power to just call them. up a demon. demon eating you just know that there isn't going to be a world to the live in. The demons cause this whole You disaster. don't have to fight everything by yourself! The aggressor is. It's the Septentry. We're free. But free to go oh where? God. <laughs> the hell's gone. There's no possible way. let everybody use the road so we can all evacuate. <laughs> the government knew something like this was gonna happen? Why didn't they tell us? And why aren't they helping us now? It's like they're turning their back on us. Check it out. under the health building? That's crazy! <gasps> that is Biako's summoner? Sir!
Why do you think they're doing this to us? Because we summoned those demons. N Nita? I'm sure our families are worried about what's going on. Uh, it's gotta be a mistake of some kind, right? They'll let us go once they figure it out. <sighs> Hibiki? What's going to happen to us, man? Why aren't my friends here? Because you're the only one who needs to know the truth. Mm. <sighs> what is this? What are they doing here? Welcome inside. We're a highly classified government organization, Japan's meteorological agency, the JPs. I'm Makoto Sako, field operations commander. JPs? The JPs have long overseen Japan's barriers, protecting our homeland from unwanted intrusions. Barriers? Defensive systems made of spiritual energy. Failure to maintain these systems would allow all manner of invasions. Invasions? From foreign countries, you mean? Not quite. It's hard for anyone to accept, I know. But these invaders definitely exist. Mostly non-human. Uh, you mean like demons and ghosts? They have different names, but for now, you may call them whatever you please. You gotta be kidding. This can't really be happening, can it? But still... I summoned a demon and used him to fight for me. Yes. You have succeeded in summoning Biako, one of the four symbols of the Chinese constellations. It's nothing that any commoner should call forth. This is the agency's regional bureau chief. Yamato Hotsuit. I'm responsible for you and your friends being brought here. <clears throat> Hibiki Kuze. No summoner at our Tokyo bureau could manifest anything like you have. Look. It's not like that power... Is something you asked for, right? This power to just call up a demon at any time... Is yours, Kuze. Uh. There have been a variety of methods to summon demons since ancient times. What we once called sorcery has been deciphered into advanced mathematics, resulting in the conjuring of phenomena. Uh, the demon summoning app... Naturally, we're not too thrilled that one can simply download it off the goddamn web. Okay. So who's responsible for putting something this dangerous out there? We have yet to discover the source, but we're certainly investigating it. We've been preparing for the current disaster you may be aware of. So you knew that something like this was gonna happen to us? Hmm. Are you telling me you could have warned everyone and didn't do anything? You could have evacuated them? 
Tokyo has 20 million people in it, imagine for a moment the mass hysteria. You still should have tried. You'll understand why eventually. I'm not buying it. You've got all this technology and it didn't help anyone. It's completely useless. So what's all this for then? You think you won a major engagement today? You're sadly mistaken if you do. Uh. They have six more days to throw at us, and we have only six days to defend. And so you understand we either defeat them, or the entire world gets consumed in war and disappears. Disappears? Just know that there isn't going to be a world to live in. And who are these enemies, anyway? The aggressor is... It's the Septentrion. The Septentrions are of a different world. Only demonic power can defeat them. You have it. And right now, that's a blessing. And that's why we need your help, Kuze. I have something to show you. Walk with me. It's like the report said. This applet is completely different from our demon summoning program. So how did it wind up in the hands of the general public? Not sure. And I can't get a hold of Professor Kano either. So we've got to sit on this until I can. It looks like it assesses the user's ability and assigns it a numeric value which gets used in a demon auction algorithm. This is some pretty scary stuff. Don't play around with it! Huh? It's much more intense than ours. If you're not a powerful summoner, anything that comes out of there will kill us. Understand? Who the hell made something like this? Dubby has been defeated in battle. Well, what do you think of that? Was it luck? Or was that really... human potential in action? An organization that's preparing for war. With the power to summon demons and use them as weapons. <laughs> Hibiki. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't wake you, did I? Not really. Did you at least get some sleep? Yeah. What is it? What do you think's gonna happen to us? I'm guessing nothing. <laughs> if we don't do anything... What do you mean? It means they won't be keeping us here much longer. All they wanted was to look at the apps on our phones and find out how we got them. Is that right? Oh, thank goodness, that's all. Yeah, sure. They're letting us go. But something is going to consume the world and make it disappear. We're free. But free to go where? Hey, Vicky. So these guys are really gonna let us go, aren't they? That's right. Thank goodness for that. I'm taking the two of you to Ariaki, and that's it. That's a deal we made. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, deal? Hibiki, what's going on? I didn't cut a deal with them, okay? I just told them that I wouldn't cooperate unless they let the both of you go unharmed. And so they're gonna let you off at Ariaki. Wait a minute. You're cooperating with these government goons who kidnapped us? Come on, man! I can fight. I can make a difference. Hibiki... Just because you're good at school and everything doesn't mean you have to do this, you know? Get real! our road until was mistaken. Let's look for another route. I'll go on my own. Wait, Nina, what are you saying? 
You can't walk all the way there. Let him finish giving you a ride. I'm gonna walk. Now wait. Let's at least try the shelter first, okay? If it's close to Ariaki, we could get some information about a better way to get in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, he's right about that. We should stick together till we get in. Misako, will the car be all right? Yes, it should be fine. The trains aren't running yet, and we're not getting any news. I wonder how the other areas are. I can't get any connection on my phone. You can't get Come on, quiet yet. down, kids. <laughs> I'm gonna go walk around and take a look. Okay, just be careful out there. I will. I'll go check upstairs. Um, okay. We'll be there soon. <laughs> hey, look, can you help these people? You ought to be able to help out with an evacuation, shouldn't you? The JPs are neither firefighters nor police. <laughs> we have our own mission and ours alone. Or maybe you only care about helping yourselves. Look, forget it. This is as far as I can take your friends, Kuze. I'll give you these back. I'm huh? sorry you got dragged into this. Uh. We've rigged them to connect to a special JP's line. Just be sure to give us a call if something happens. Mm -hmm. All right, then. You guys be careful out there. I'm telling you, it's true! Demons are doing this! You don't know what you're talking about. I saw them. Demons eating humans! <laughs> the demons cause this whole disaster! Oh, shut up. You're so full of it. Oh my god, demons. So did you learn anything yet? No. This is going nowhere. <sighs> Excuse me, do you know what's been happening in Ariaki? No, not really. Right now, there's just a cloud of dust hanging over everything. Mm. I'm gonna get us something to drink. Uh, okay. I must make absolutely sure it gets done.
What's that? Here, Dai Chi. Shut up! I can't just leave you here! I'll be fine! I have Bianco! You don't have to fight everything by yourself! This is completely insane! I mean, everything was normal up until yesterday! Why did this happen to us? If we turn our backs on this, I know we'll regret it. Hey, Vicky! There's even more of them? What the hell? Are you alright? Miss Sako, what is that? It's a divine. A little something I keep handy. More importantly, I haven't seen any summoners. Which means this attack is originating from a mobile. I'll keep fighting them off over here. Please do! I never wanted this power to begin with. Even so, if I can help save others, then running away isn't an option for me! Situation contained. Uh, 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 Nita, where's Hibiki? Uh, he's getting up. Oh my God, is he going to attack us too? <laughs> hey, Mister! <laughs> hey! Uh, uh, Thanks for saving me. Uh, uh, uh. Hibiki Kuze, you are blessed with wisdom. Thanks, but I still don't understand. I don't really get what all this is. However, if my power can really help people, and if it can really keep everyone out of danger, then I'll use it and bring this fight to an end. Hmm. And of course, we'd be grateful for your help as well. So, like, we heard everything. The world's in big trouble or something. So you finally understand. Yeah, and I can't let Hibiki do this all by himself. And I'll help as well. <sighs> when Hibiki was fighting all those demons, I really couldn't do anything to help. Nothing. I was just in shock. I feel like I have to do something. It's okay. <laughs> we're lucky to have you with us, Nita. <laughs> so what do we do now that we've decided we're all in? Makoto. Sir. Put it on the main monitor. Oh, this is Professor Fumi Kano, the scientist in charge of the JP's summoning and security systems. Huh? That girl is? She was on standby at the Osaka main bureau building, but when the Septentrians made their appearance, she suddenly disappeared. Maybe she had an accident. I don't think that's possible. Losing Professor Kano would be extremely detrimental to our success. You will join the search party and do everything in your power to bring her back to us. That is your first mission. Thank you. 
so. What do you want now? Your usefulness has ended. That's true, isn't it? Incidentally, are you fine not keeping him by your side? No need if he's not the type to die easily. I see. So you have high hopes. Perhaps I'll be hopeful too. For this new sparkling one. Per the Covenant of Antiquity, the JPs have finally mobilized. Yamato Hotsween, I will never let you have your way. I think it's time we put our plan into motion. Welcome to Osaka. Sitting around isn't going to accomplish anything now. The is attacks it? are from all over Japan. Where are we supposed to fall back A to? System intrusion from another source. Nita! Whatever, man. Someone must have brainwashed She's her. She's reached Azathoth! The firewall's down! Whatever happens, I'll protect you both. Hey, you guys. Huh? I appreciate you making the trip with me. But you would have been better off staying in Tokyo. Whatever, man. We're not gonna let you do this by yourself. Sitting around hmm? isn't gonna accomplish anything now, is it? Uh-huh. That's right. I knew it during the second battle. Byako is... he seems to be... a lot stronger than the rest. Hey, now! My poltergeist is pretty killer. It's not like I'm competing with you, Daichi. Mm, yeah, okay, but... Oh, check it out! It looks like I got something really cool at the demon auction. Huh? You can just buy them? I don't really know, but the numbers at the bottom have gone down. Interesting. It was a little scary at first. Terrifying, actually. And I didn't like it. But this power lets me fight our enemies and protect people. Whatever happens, I'll protect you both. Huh? huh? Mr. Hotswain told us about you. Thank you for coming over. Welcome hmm? to Osaka. Huh? <gasps> so you're the three summoners who just got assigned to Tokyo? Pleased to meet ya. Uh, and you would be... I'm Hinako Kujo, and... Mr. Sunshine there is Keita Wakui. And just like the three of you, they joined the JPs yesterday and were assigned to summoners. So we're on the same page. Uh, nice to meet you. Huh? <laughs> Whatever. If you're looking for lost doggies, do it on your own. Take it easy, Keita. I have a real job. Uh, 
executing demons. From what I've seen of him, he's kind of a loner, and he doesn't scare too easily. A lethal combination. Search teams have gone out looking several times already. Anyway, I'll show you Professor Kano's lab. Nothing's been moved since the professor disappeared. So this is the last place where she was seen. At her desk. Did the professor leave any clues behind? No, not really. There wasn't even a sign of struggle. Nor was there a trace of her leaving the building. Looking for people without any clues. Waste of time if you ask me. I mean, the enemy's out there. We ought to just uh, kill them while we can. <laughs> like demon. <laughs> We're supposed to be summoners now, aren't we? Aren't there more, like, summoner-ish jobs out there for us to do? <laughs> He's got a point. Maybe there's another reason we've been sent here. Kinda makes me wonder. Him again. Quite impressive the way he's coming right at us this time. A for effort. Don't even think I'm taking your side on this. My desire is to further test all humans. <gasps> What's going on? We have an incursion on the barrier system, sir. What's that? This is the JP's main bureau. There's no way they could do that. It's still in progress, sir. This operation center has every known form of protection against viruses, denial of service, and it's all magically reinforced. It's impossible! <laughs> huh? Try using another circuit. What's going on? Negative. It's no good. At this rate, the system will be overridden. Uh, engage the Alazar. We're not losing this system to a hacker. Deny all entry points. No. Put on that port. Lock it down. Lock it down. Clean up the access list later. Deny all entry points. I see it. Tell me where he's hiding. I've got a trace route to the hacker entry point in progress. What the heck? What's going on? We just lost layer one, sir! They cracked the password with magic! So this is what? Is some kind of hacker attack or something? This kind of feels a bit dangerous. Layer two is down! Is it possible the Septentriums are behind this too, sir? <laughs> Who are you, young man? Hibiki Kuze, a summoner. The kid from Tokyo. They had this kid join the JPs? What the hell is Hotsween thinking? This doesn't concern you. You need uh -huh. to fall back. It does concern us. Oh, come on now. Where are we supposed to fall back to? <laughs> Layer three's down, sir! <sighs> Disconnecting the network? Mm -hmm. Can't you just turn off the power? Oh, thank you, Daichi. Can't you just turn off the power to the system? Will you kids stop spouting nonsense? <laughs> Shutting the power down means Osaka instantly loses all of its magical protection. We wouldn't stand a chance in hell against anyone. Maybe someone is helping the Septentrians gain access to the system. Yes, it's possible. System intrusion from another source. This is no accident. Yamato knew. He knew that this was gonna happen, didn't he? We lost the fourth layer! He found the source, Director! Hopefully it's close by so we can take care of it. <gasps> what is this? The attacks are from all over Japan! What? Nearly all the wired networks have crashed. That can't be the reason! Do another trace route and find him! Who the hell's calling me now? 
<gasps> We've uploaded a new dead face clip for your enjoyment. <gasps> Kata! Kata! <gasps> it's Kata! Hinako, do you know that place? Who cares about that? Tell me! Looks like it's Festival Gate. We can get there if we hurry. Excuse me. Try limiting your search to near Festival Gate. Don't pester my staff! You hear me? Please hurry! Okay. Got him. Osaka. In the Nunning Award, and it seems to be coming from the abandoned Festival Gate Park. That's the source point of Hacker DDoS. He's right under our noses. Awesome, Hibiki. How did you figure that out, man? I thought so. So he's there. Hibiki Kuze, huh? listen uh -huh. to me. Chief Holt Sweet. You need to go to the festival gate and do whatever it takes to stop the hacker. Other nearby summoners should go as well. Chief? Please tell me, did you send us to Osaka knowing that something like this might happen? The abandoned festival gate in Naniwa Ward at once. I repeat. All summoners receiving this alert... You don't have a moment to lose. Mobile. Hurry up and go. I repeat, I'm sorry, if you are mobile, but this is really important. Please order Keita Wakwi to stay away from that location. We've already seen Deadface predict the future. And if we can see it, we can avoid it. Jesus, scared the crap out of me. Oh. Ah! I can't get through. Please let us make it. Hibiki Kuze, Daichi Shijima, Io Nita, Hinako Kujo. These four are set to storm Festival Gate. We also have eight additional summoners en route to the location to assist. They will rendezvous with them in about three minutes. Help, There's no end to these frickin' things. <laughs> you little freaks stick together, don't you? <laughs> Nako, what the hell are you doing here? Screw you! If I hadn't come, you'd be a scorch on the earth right now. Why don't you mind your own damn business? I mean, I thought you guys were looking for that professor chick anyway. <gasps> I can't <tell> <laughs> Kata! That's Mr. Kata to you. Show some respect, <sighs> damn it. I'm just glad we made it. You doing okay? Huh? Uh, how long you gonna hold me? Now that you're here, if we don't find the phone that's gone nuts, these things won't stop coming. No. There's a hacker controlling them this time. Huh? 
I'll look for him in a second. Let's see what sort of awesome the auction gave me to work with. Oparion, Agation, go help Fiaco. That's them. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> What? My demons are freaking weak! <laughs> Hibiki, come in. Yes. Where are the others? Huh? Unfortunately, you're the only ones we sent who made it there alive, Kuze. Uh, uh, uh. No matter. Take uh, the hacker into custody at once. Yeah, but... Mourn them later, Hibiki. Right now, the best you can do is obtain the hacker, who is only 50 meters away. Look, we have to catch this guy, don't we? I'll go look for him, okay? Uh, uh, understood. Hinako and I will hold back the enemies. Okay! I'm here too! Don't forget about me! What should I do? Protect Nita, Daichi. Yes! Let's go! Biako! <laughs> Layer 6 is down! What about our counterattack program? It's having no effect! It's been rendered completely useless! Engage the Almadel. The Almadel, sir? Almadel? Chief? Yes. <gasps> That's Professor Kano's computer virus. It's unstable. She hasn't finished it yet. If she isn't here to supervise the deployment, we don't know what could happen. Just do it, Commander. <sighs> Understood, sir. Upload Almadel. It's like something's interfering at the source. Hibiki! Sir! We've done everything we can to buy you time. I'm afraid you're on your own now. Best of luck. I... have to protect everyone. I have to win! Enemy intrusion has reached layer 8. So long as the central area isn't compromised, there we must stop it. Beginning layer 8 program copy. Disrupting enemy movement. our bad guy. We have to hurry and get him. We can't wait. Oh, man. I still have my ogre. Uh -oh. Ogre! Go! Get that person over there! <laughs> what the hell? Nita! What is that thing? What do I do? <laughs> Nita! <laughs> okay, you can get up now, lazy bones. Thanks, Kata. Oh, don't thank me for Jack, all right? <laughs> thank goodness! Nita! Hinako! Over there! Uh, so that's our hacker, huh? <gasps> Fumi Kano? What the... what's going on? It's Professor Kano! Someone must have brainwashed her. Are you telling me that the architect of our own defensive systems is doing this? She's unstoppable if she is! Hibiki, secure the professor now. Sir. Biako! Even stop lightning. Layla, shockwave now. Ah! Ah! Layla! What the heck is that thing? It's so crazy strong. Kata, let's do this together. Huh? Whatever, man. Don't tell me what to do. Your berserker's at his limit. <laughs> 
together we can do it. <laughs> Guess I ain't got a choice. <laughs> Daichi, you listening? <sighs> right, right. Yeah, okay, got it. She's reached Azathoth! The firewall's down! All right, get him, Biako! <laughs> A distraction. Gotcha. Daichi. So, is it over? That's the end of it. Go get your professor out. Your celebration is premature, young man. <laughs> Time you learn your lesson. Ah, get out of here! Go! Excellent work. Now then, your final task. Breaking code is designed to erase any traces of the user. We have nothing to go on. The firewall's down. It's done. 100% infiltration. Sutentaku defensive barrier has been eliminated. Unbelievable. Spiritual defense capabilities for the Osaka area are zero. Septentrion, sighted in Osaka, sir! Oh,
Merrick School is a Sokka spiritual barrier. Sutinkaku. Ever since the subway accident, I couldn't have done anything Then we'll hit him you. with everything the Osaka Main Bureau has in its arsenal. Hibiki! You chose to leave it on the fence. No, Hibiki, I will help you. I will. We saw what would happen on the clip. We saw the dead face clip, and we couldn't stop it from happening. Um... I don't get it. I should have seen it coming. You can't think like that. It's not your fault, Hibiki. Hmm? Hey there, guys. Uh, what the hell? We're gonna need you to come with us. Hibiki, a Septentrion has appeared. Get in position. Understand. They can appear at will like this. Now that the city's lost its defensive capabilities. They're not exactly creating a threat. Do you think the humans have any chance of winning? If this little one is enough to beat them, it means that the human race has unfortunately run its course to its inevitable finish. What is that? A monster? Tank Company has been destroyed! The Septentrion Merrick is now heading south along Shinosaka! Is that so? Seems as though anything our government can throw at it is useless. It's time. Let's show them why JP's remained a separate entity. Engage. Initiate. Hi!
Now that we've lost our spiritual defenses, our enemy has finally shown us what we're dealing with. Its firepower is probably ten times more than what we expected it to be. That's not good at all. Ten times? Merrick's goal is Osaka's spiritual barrier, Sutenkaku. If we lose that, Osaka will be finished. Have a summoner platoon block Merrick's route of engagement, then we'll hit him with everything the Osaka Main Bureau has in its arsenal. A human wall. What do you mean, no? Kibiki already left? I need to go too, man! Your demons can't help us in this battle. Uh -huh. I can't let you uh -huh. go. Hey. Uh -huh. We can use you on the medevac team. Uh -huh. Gotcha! About Keita. He helped me yesterday when I was pinned down by rubble and I couldn't move. I thought I was finished. He had the Berserker move the rocks off me. The people watching were so freaking out when they saw it. The JPs hauled us in, gave us a big lecture telling us not to use our demons in public. I guess you guys got the same thing. Um, Hinako? Uh, we have to move out. Are you able to walk? <sighs> right. So you're going to? Definitely. No way I'm gonna be sitting this one out. Okay. Count me in. Miss Nita, huh? you've been ordered to remain here on standby status. Uh, what do you mean? Direct orders from the Bureau Chief. Hey, Nita. Hibiki could probably use a friend right now. Huh? He thinks that Kate is dying is his fault. And we know that's not true. Just stay with him, okay? Hibiki, you're the last line of defense. You must stop it. Is there a problem? Kater, he died trying to protect the rest of us. His was an acceptable sacrifice. A sacrifice? Is that really the way you see us? Then feel free to quit. But... I have no need for those who lack the will to fight. What was that? Chief, that boy was still a civilian just yesterday. That's irrelevant. He's going to end up getting other people killed if all he's going to do is feel sorry for himself. I'm not quitting. Oh. I'll use my power to protect the people alongside me. Let's make sure there are no more necessary sacrifices. <laughs> Keep attacking! Stay close to your demons! Maintain control distance! <laughs> what the? <laughs> the Umeda defense line, sir. It's gone. How are we on repairing our spiritual defenses? Currently at 10% restoration. Outstanding, considering the short timetable. Stand Where's Hibiki? He's on the roof of that building there. Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, hey. Merrick's magical readings are escalating. Here it comes. Wait, 
update now. Communication. We need to down. find out if there are any survivors. They're dead. Every last one of them is dead. It's all ice. <laughs> and the medevac team. How can we help anyone if they're all dead? <laughs> Hibiki! Get out of there now! You don't have to be the last guy to fight, you know? You've done enough! If you do what the Jeep beats tell you, you're gonna die! Enough you of this. Me, Jam you? his phone. Say something! Hibiki! Hibiki! I'm going to fight it. You need to stay here and hold this position. <gasps> Stand aside. I can't do that. Biako and I can finish this without losing anyone else. You heard that, didn't you? You could have used me to stop this before it started. They didn't have to die. We could have done something. There's still too much we don't know about the Septentrion's firepower or defenses. We cannot send you in there without some sort of strategy. Your lack of strategy is why you need me. Now listen. You're obviously unable to think clearly about this. I can't give you permission to go. I didn't ask for your permission. Commander, communications have been cut off. Chief. Imbecile. Never mind. The replacement will be ready. <laughs> you can try stopping me, but I'm going. Biako! It's coming. We didn't even scratch it. There's a way to kill anything, and we're gonna find it. Get ready. Aren't you supposed to be the rear guard? I can't sit around while people get hurt. What are you saying? Go back now! I can stop this. Here and now. Biako! Uh <laughs> what? The lightning doesn't work? Hinako! Uh, uh, 
Hey, Hibiki. Wasn't Nita supposed to be with you? Huh? Where is she? Okay. I guess you guys missed each other. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Hinako, no! Merrick is 500 marks from the Shinsaibashi defensive line! Don't let up! Finish it here! Go, go, go! Merrick has reached the road! Santo! Oh. Santo, man! Get back! Get back! Are you alright? I guess you're the only one with a demon powerful enough to save you. Oh, goodness me. I guess I should have said nice to meet you instead. Who are you? Tell me. Alcor. Yamato Hotsu and I, let's just say, we're old friends and leave it at that. I see. So this is how it is. I couldn't save them from dying. Couldn't save them, dear boy? Seems to me you dragged them into this. Drag them in? What do you mean? That girl gave her life protecting you. And the other one is gearing up to fight. Other one? The human that came with you. We're counting on your summoner powers. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, where's Hibiki? Um... He's fine, Nita. Just concentrate on the fight. Yes, sir. No way! Nita's gonna fight? It appears as if she's taking your place on the rooftop. She can't! You chose to leave it undefended. Uh. Those with power greatly influence those around them. You do comprehend this, yes? What's this all about, I wonder? People crying, people screaming. If I can stop their suffering, then I'll keep fighting. I understand. It's an interesting concept. Why do you choose to act while others do nothing? You could simply act for your own survival, you know? Ever since this power was bestowed on me, I've wanted to run, but I won't. the subway accident I couldn't have done anything without you all I've done is feel sorry for myself but that that won't do anything will it now Hibiki I will help you I will fight princess goddess Kikari how did she summon a demon like that? Nita. Yes, ma'am. Princess Kikuri! <laughs> Everyone cover Princess Kikuri! Merrick's 
magical readings continue to increase, sir. We're not getting another chance at this. Do it now! Okay. Go, Hibiki. You really did it. Merrick is quiet, Director. All power readings are dead. Where will the human's choices take him? He has a lot of possibilities to try. Kuze. Hibiki, well done. That'll do for now. Hibiki, you did it. guard unless you're sure who are you well i'm no friend of the jp's huh chief the jp's nagoya bureau has been seized by insurgents what's that their leader was one of ours ronaldo kariki yamato hotsween is dangerous you understand i'd like you to come with me mr hibiki kuse mission complete all team members return at once. <laughs> Hibiki? Osaka to Tokyo Bureau. There's no trace of Hibiki Kuze. What are you talking about? What's going on? Explain that to all the people who died while you were hey, waiting. To it's help that them. Shibuki. Where does he think he's going? The leader of the insurgents that have occupied JP's Nagoya Bureau. Have some chawamushi. You feel better. Well, that's it. According to the Binding Covenant, it's. Don't next. you understand what's going on out there? Why is humanity able to think for itself and to work so hard? These people are far too easily frightened. We're still at the beginning of all this. So do you think Hibiki will win the Shizuku, day? Burn them. that have occupied JP's Nagoya Bureau is Ronaldo Kuriki. He's a former JP's member who went into hiding two years ago. Long story short, he knows what we know. <laughs> we'll have the train stop 10 kilometers before Nagoya Station. 
From there, make your way above ground and infiltrate without being detected. Once you've helped us restore the terminal, you're to retake the Nagoya Bureau at once. <laughs> I can't believe that works. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Man, Nita, the two of us stowing away like this was a little crazy, you know? Uh, come on, Daichi, think about it. We had to get here without being seen. <sighs> Freaking Hibiki. Why would he leave us and go to Nagoya? This isn't the first time he wanted to do something by himself, you know? Huh? And his face was kind of scary. <laughs> A friend's dead face clip has been uploaded. <gasps> well then, have a nice day. Not Hibiki. No. work either. The last thing I needed to see today was that dead face clip. Maybe Commander Sako and the others got it too. Yeah, maybe. Uh, no, no. Dead face clips only go to the people who are already on your friends list. Okay. That still means we have to do something. Status on Nagoya? We still can't reach them. Communications appear to be shut off on their end. We've also lost contact with the infiltration unit, Commander. So we're blind, deaf, and fighting with ourselves inside our own burning house. Lovely. Hibiki is headed for Nagoya, yes? His signal ceased transmitting once he reached the central area. That idiot. Don't tell me he was abducted. It's possible we may have pushed him too hard. That boy is still a civilian. So were you once. That's no excuse. Rank and status are irrelevant right now. We do what we must to deal with the crisis. Whoever can't do that is of no use. Even so, there's still Nagoya. When the Septentrians appear, they target our regional barriers. And Nagoya's next in line. Exactly. According to the Binding Covenant, it's next. It seems he's pulled back into the clockwork of fate as well. The clockwork of fate? Status of the terminal restoration. Professor Kano still I'm has- I'm not interested. Wake her up. I'm already on it. The program's a complete mess. The backup's been deleted too. By me, it looks like. Fumi, are you all right now? Better than I was. There's no time to lose. You're the only one we can count on. I'm rebuilding it from scratch. Thank you. Why don't you try to rest a little? <sighs> yes, but the insurgents... They probably won't try anything else till tomorrow. Go ahead. Ugh. What about you? Unnecessary. Five enemy creatures remain. It's only just begun.
the bureau chief sent Hibiki Kuze to Osaka for a reason. He foresaw Merrick's appearance. He's known it. If we don't pull through this, the human race is doomed. A kid? This kid has been the power behind everything? Why me? Why did you recruit me for this anyway? It's not like I'm in the SDF or anything like That's that. That's unimportant. I only acknowledge those who possess abilities. The rest mean nothing to me. However, you are not incompetent. Do you have the strength of character inside you to know the world's secrets? If Yumato hadn't recruited me, I wouldn't be who I am now. I, I swore I would follow him to the end. Regardless of consequence. The clockwork of fate. If all things are in fact preordained to happen, then why? Why is humanity able to think for itself and to work so hard to save itself? If Professor Kano is back, we should be able to restore the barriers and prevent others like Merrick, right? I'm sure hoping so. Me too. Is it ready? Sir! There's still a lot about it we don't understand. It must work. It will, sir. Tired. I said this is no time for sleeping, didn't and I? And that's when you passed out. See? Mm. <sighs> it's all right. I got some sleep, too. Good. Our demons are all healed up. I guess it's time to take the JP's regional office back from the rebels. You can't do it on your own. That's what I got you for. I'm going? It's not like I have anyone else, Ding Dong. All the others were captured, and communications aren't working either. I mean... We're the only ones who can. Uh, okay, but have some chawan mushi. You'll feel better. <sighs> You're being pretty laid back about this. <sighs> Good to hear it. Say, Ari. Hmm? Do we have to side with the Bureau this time? What do you mean by that? They're giving the creeps. All that mystery junk. I'm grateful for being rescued and all, but... The way they talked like they knew the disaster was going to happen was kind of weird. Exactly. No matter which side we take, I don't want humans to fight humans. Well, there's only one way to know. Just ask for yourself if you're not sure. Ask who? And say what? You go to their leader and ask straight up who the good guys are. I mean, they knew about the JPs and the demons and waited for the trouble to start in the first place. <clears throat> okay, how do we do that? We're going to use that secret route the insurgents don't know about. Uh, Ari, get a little something. Hey! <laughs> Guess it's bad here too, huh? Yeah. All right. So, Nita. By any chance, do you happen to know which way the Nagoya Bureau is? Oh, uh, Mikoto said to go underground and make use of the tunnels under Centering Park. Okay. Didn't she try to stop you again or something like that? No, she told me to go with you. So this is officially unofficial, right? Well, she might have had a talk with the railway and made sure there weren't as many people on board to blow our cover. And I thought she was scary the first time I met her. If it weren't for this... They'd all be good people, wouldn't they? Huh? What's this? It doesn't look like the police or the JPs. Ordinary folks. Hey there. <laughs> what are you doing? Here. You look like you need Thanks. it. Thanks. Uh... Thanks. They know exactly how bad it is out here, and they still haven't sent any help to anyone. We'll be running things now, so you'll be fine. Uh, thank you very much. 
See ya. Take care. Huh. These are JP's emergency rations. You're right. Did these guys steal them? Okay, okay. There's enough for everyone. These people are rebels? <laughs> More demons! Damn! We need to find us a summoner! Stand back! I've got this! To battle, my demons! Hoparion! Agatheon! God, you guys are weak! Princess Kikuri! That was so cool, Nita! Bolter guys, put out the fires. Hey, you guys are summoners too. Take it easy, okay? Hold it right there. Oh, there's too many of them. How long is this gonna go on? Oh crap! I got a bad feeling about this. You had us worried for a minute, you big goof! Mr. Hibiki! Huh? Suzuku, burn them. That's awesome! Hibiki! 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 You have a dead face clip! Hey, if that's Hibiki, where does he think he's going anyway? Who are you supposed to be? He's my friend, all right? Tell me! I don't know. He's probably going to check in with our leader. Take us there. What? What? Please take us. We have to tell him about that clip. Are you all absolutely insane? Don't you understand what's going on out there? Demons started appearing in Japan. Then, everything just went straight to hell. The JPs knew about it and did nothing. I think I understand pretty well, honey. Hang on. We were in a position to help, but then you... That's garbage and you know it. JPs have always been here to help people. Yeah, we're clueless, right? You want to explain that to all the people who died while you were waiting to help them? Knock it off. <gasps> Ronaldo, Mr. Hibiki. These people were obeying their orders just like you were. You're the leader of the insurgents? Oh, but Ronaldo! The only one who needs to be shut down is Yamato Hutsuin. Shut down? The chief? We've disabled the private channel to the JPs. I know you're a summoner too. <gasps> You'll need that to protect other people. You know what you're doing is terrorism, don't you? Unless we defeat seven major Septentrians, mankind will die. That is what Yamato Hotsuin wants us all to believe so badly. Uh, seven? What? So you're familiar with the situation? Of course. Then why disrupt our operations when we're only out here to help? Because when his private army defeats the Septentrian, he'll replace our fallen governments with one of his. A meritocracy with himself at its head. He leverages a global crisis for his own game. He's manipulated both the JPs and the Japanese government. Hey, look, the Chief's a little eccentric, but do you have proof of any of this? I was a cop, all right? <gasps> the government needed someone who knew the undercover game. And once I got inside, I found out plenty. So you got a comp? A curse of the job. You could say I did a lot of snooping after that. Into the greatest secret in history. The mystery of the Hotsuin family. And when he found out what I learned, your savior used his little army to try to kill me. He said if I wouldn't obey, then I was useless. I'm sure you weren't aware of all that, Mr. Hibiki. He's cunning, tells a good story, and turns good people into his little war machines. I thought being a machine was right. All I had to do was follow directions. That's what I thought, anyway. There's nothing right about it. Yeah. His way will cause the powerless to die when he's done with them. Remember, Hibiki. Remember all the people he let die.
I won't accept his new world, where he decides who's trash and who isn't. All people are equal. <laughs> Stop standing there to help me! Yeah, hang on. Next time, don't wait for me to ask, Hercules. Sorry. Uh, that's gonna be a tight fit. Oh, whatever. Let's go. He supposedly thinks everyone's equal. Is the kind of stuff he says even possible? Huh? All that stuff Ronaldo yaks about? You know it's just a bunch of blah blah bullcrap. Well, if you think it's just a bunch of rhetoric, what are you doing here then? Hmm, that's just how it turned out, man. If the government knew about this and kept quiet about it anyway, you'd probably have some doubts, right? The JPs knew about it just like they should have, you know? So the world we're all stuck with right now ain't exactly fair. Yes, that's right. Come on, don't be such a sad sourpuss. You're walking and talking and alive. You gotta be a little more thankful than that, man. Huh? Uh... Keep it light, kid. Could be worse. Was that supposed to cheer me up? He lost his girlfriend huh? in all this confusion. Everyone's been hurt by this. Hey, Vicky, please come with me. I can't believe you've made it this far. Lucky for us, we have a few powerful summoners working for the Resistance. So, were they the ones who sent us the demon summoning app? We're looking into that ourselves. If we learn who developed it, we definitely want to welcome them as friends. Here we are. This is our temporary command center. Huh? Ronaldo! Is that the little cutie uh -huh. you snatched from Osaka? That's right, the most powerful confirmed summoner, and he's standing right here. Whoa! Biako and Suzuku? Scary! Not even your Hagen could beat that! <laughs> That's why we're counting on him. Thanks for your help! Let's get started, Hibiki. Huh? Listen carefully. If the lore of the Hotsween family is correct, the Septentrian will make an appearance here today in Nagoya. But we're gonna try to stop it before it starts. We're pretty well prepared around here, you know. Unlike some people, we're not gonna lose control of our defenses and underestimate the strength of the bad guys. The Resistance has to establish itself. We have to let people know that we're capable of dealing with this threat. Not the government, not the JPs, just the people. We can do it, and we're going to. How's that? With my Hagen, and your Bianco, and Suzuku, and my Orcus, and your... Sarasvati. But aren't you with the Bureau? A Septentrian is coming, right? We're better off cooperating to get this done. It's not a defection as much as it is common sense. I feel badly for getting you involved. We'll keep them from spawning all over the place, and we'll hit them hard and fast. And we've got the people for it. He's really going through with it. We're sacrificing no one, and everyone's coming back alive. Exactly. We need people powerful enough to stand up to the Septentrians. Also, I bet these people wouldn't use others as human shields. They're all weak, all of them. They're easily broken and flock like sheep. The incompetent should be recognized as such. There is no future for the weak. Which is precisely why the strong should lead, and the weak accept that leadership. Master Yamato, today we are continuing our study of this outline on atomic energy. You're still blathering about that? I mastered the tenets of that lesson long ago. You're of no use. <clears throat> anyway, you may go. <laughs> that was atrocious for a supposed tea ceremony, Master. Make more when we get back. <laughs> it didn't tickle your palate the right way? Hmm. Enjoy! Give me, give me, give me. What's that? That sort of thing wouldn't suit your taste, that's for sure. 
Okay. But that is off the scale! Shut it off! <laughs> These people are far too easily frightened. We're still at the beginning of all this. So boring. This is... It can't! It's Cerberus! A, a demon like that shouldn't answer at first summoning by anyone, let alone a little kid! The system is down! Cerberus can't be controlled! There's no way anyone can control something that strong! You're a monster! Look it down! That's enough! That's amazing. Well, enough incompetence. There you are, oh sparkling one. This puts you in check. Don't be foolish, Alcor. I'm playing by the rules. I don't recall admitting defeat to the likes of you. Oh, this is a difficult game. One more game. Of course, no one else will play me. The game between us has just begun, Alcor. That's right. But the Sparkling One is no longer here. This ideal you were after never existed, a naive fantasy. What do you mean by that? Strength and tenacity shape the world around us. Those with ability should be leading those without. And there are no other possibilities? Hardly. And I'll prove it to you. Yamato, you are hopeless. As are you, and appalling to boot. It's almost time, isn't it? Most definitely. So do you think Hibiki will win the day? A friend's dead face clip has been uploaded. A friend, indeed. Just think about <laughs> Ari, it's cramped. You're too big, that's all, Jungo. No, Ari, you're tiny. <laughs> You're getting on my nerves. I'll make Chawanmushi when we get back. <laughs> if we get back home in one piece... Hibiki's in danger! Step on it, will ya? How the hell do you know Mr. Hibiki anyway? We're his friends! Please go faster, it's important! Oh, going as fast as I can. Well, it's not fast enough!
で何かが変わるなんて思いもしなくてわずかでも生まれた絆が望むなら不完全な夢でも見失わないで叫べ涙に濡れたこの声It's almost time. Are you sure the Septentrion's gonna attack this location? That's right. According to the long-standing covenant of the Hotsween family, the third Septentrion is coming here. Even at the JPs, there was an awful lot about the enemy that we simply didn't know about. Do you really think that the four of us will be able to fight them on our own? What do you think, Ronaldo? The demons we've brought to this fight are vastly more powerful than those the JPs have at their disposal. From now on, the people can rely on us to protect them. There you go. But I'd like to know who made our snazzy app in the first place. Don't you think it's a little dangerous to use an unknown demon summoning app like that? Someone else must not like the JPs. And I guess he's in good company. Dead face. Everything started with this app. I have the ability to summon demons more powerful than anyone else so far. However, if you don't know how to use the power properly, you might as well be powerless. You're Hibiki Kuze, the one who was scouted by the Tokyo Bureau Chief, aren't you? Yeah. Why are you with the Resistance? I thought the JPs wouldn't allow me to save everyone that I could. And do you think they're not doing that? Mm. Admittedly, Mr. Hotsween can be very demanding, I know. Demanding of obedience? Is that all the JPs are really about? Yes, that's right. Yamato Hotsween. A lot of people have died because they thought following his orders was right. But did all of those innocent people really have to die? Because I'm betting we could have avoided at least some of them. In the end, his way has led to the least amount of deaths. That's the Bureau Chief's thinking, anyway. And I can understand it, I suppose. But still... I just can't. Your heart still can't accept it yet. You had the opportunity to avoid fighting in the first place, didn't you? The only reason I'm fighting at all is because of this special power I have. I was just a high school student before all this happened to me. So now you fight because of your power. Uh, That's quite brave of you. That really has nothing to do with it. I would have stayed with the JPs if I thought Yamato was right. But as it is, I just can't give him the loyalty he's asking for. I simply can't do it. So I guess that makes Ronaldo Kariki right? At the very least, he's not gonna sacrifice other people. Hey, Biki! Hmm? There's some guy out here who says he's your friend, but he's kind of Hibiki. freaky. Uh, hey! Hey, oh. you idiot! Uh, Why did you go running off by yourself? Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Daichi. You had us worried. Sorry. Friends of yours? Yeah. Thank God. I'm so glad we made it in time. Huh? Uh, those kids are JPs, right? Mm-hmm. Shouldn't we be, like, keeping an eye on them? They're pretty boys' friends, okay? It's not like they're tearing the place down. I'm getting coffee. Okay. You what? You saw a dead face clip of me? Mm-hmm. They posted it a few hours ago. And that was after we already stowed away on the train, so it really freaked us out. Stowed away? Do the JPs know you're gone? That's got nothing to do with it. You're more important, right? 
Do we have an updated status on Nagoya? Communications are still dead on their side, Commander. Still no contact with the infiltration team. Daichi Shijima and Io Nita, who disappeared from the Osaka main bureau, remain out of contact. AWOL, perhaps? That's very possible. I'll deal with this issue myself, and you'll discuss it with absolutely no one. Understood? Yes, ma'am. They better be all right. So now that we found you, let's get out of here, okay? You know, to... to Tokyo! Daichi. Hmm? I can't go back, Daichi. Huh? Why not? A Septentrion is going to attack this city very soon. Knowing that, I just can't leave these people behind. Save that crap for someone who wants to hear it! Those dead face clips are never wrong! You know that! Seeing the clip gives you a chance to avoid it. Well, Kata didn't avoid it! Stay and protect you! We'll all beat that dead face clip together! Me too. Huh? I'm gonna protect you too, Hibiki. So listen, don't run away from us again, alright? You can't do it by yourself this time. You hear me? I know that. But I couldn't save them, dear boy. Seems to me you dragged them into this. Power is attractive. It pulls you in. But getting dragged in with me might be too dangerous. <laughs> the hell are you saying? Damn it! This isn't about your stupid power! We've been friends ever since we were small, and I'm not leaving you, alright? Daichi. <laughs> it, it's better than being on your own, isn't it? Look, we can make it work if we mm -hmm. just stick together. Thanks, you guys. They tell us to hurry and clear things up, but there's no end to this. Because Ronaldo and them went on a rampage in here. Huh? <laughs> what the? That was close. I swear it's because you're too freaking big, Junko! Who are you guys? Uh, looks like we're surrounded. Just follow the plan! <laughs> Understood. Look here, jerks! We're here to take back our base! JP Summoners! Where's your leader? I'm not telling you anything! Violence. So tacky. Yeah. A summoning contest? Now you're talking! You're a little too happy. Can't see! <laughs> Never show up. Damn, these guys are tough. What's the matter? Don't you boys want to have some more fun? So this is fun? No, I was just being cute. JP Summoners. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you stop. Your demons are pretty tough. Yeah! It doesn't need to get any crazier. You're the resistance leader? Yeah, right. That guy. You're not gonna win a fight with these two. Go take a long walk. Sorry. So I take it you're the one who attacked this place yesterday? I'm Rinaldo Kariki. You appear to be JP's. But it looks like you joined without really having a reason to. A reason? That's right. You're not really following them without a good reason, are you? Just think about it. Think about doing the right thing. You need to shut up! We're the ones doing the right thing! Oh man! This is not what we need to have happen! Put it on the big screen! <laughs> Yeah, I was under the impression we were here to talk. Oh, we'll talk after I punch him in the mouth! Please stop this! This has got to be the worst time for us to be fighting each other! He be cute. He's right, you know. Ah, shut it! You want this to stop? Just give up and we'll do all the talking you want! Hey guys, this is... No way! 
Playtime's over, people. Please listen to him, all right? Does it look like I was playing to you? Get me his manifest point. Ah. No, wait. The entry point, uh... Where? Uh, manifest point. It's here, boss! It's... right here? Uh, wait. Wait. Uh, 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 Kibiki! Center to all hands! Unless you're on my assault team, get to the shelters now! By the way, you're on the team. Huh? Who put you in charge? Ari, no. the enemy is up there. Oh. Uh, Let's oh. move it! Box the bastard in! Don't tell me what to do! If we keep it pinned down in here, that's a good thing. Don't let it breathe. How's that? Did it work? I guess not. Then we'll keep on doing it till it does work! It's not taking any damage from our attacks. an interesting spot to spawn. Still, I think it's a bit cruel to the humans. If we can't get these systems running, we're gonna lose the Dragon Stream barrier. And what'll happen then? Lose this stream, lose Nagaya. What do you mean? If it knocks us out, then it gets a free run at Nagaya. Just like Osaka. This doesn't look good! Now wait a minute! If our attack won't work, what do we do? I cannot allow this! Suzuku! Burn it down! Nobody's gonna die! That's awesome! Who's that? Hibiki Kuzu. That kid's all we have. Uh, Daichi! I said it before, Ibuki! You're not gonna do this alone! Tell you what, Pretty Boy brought some whoop-ass demons! Get him, kid! <laughs> Sarasvati! Sarasvati has acquired a power drain skill since its last deployment. It should weaken our enemy. Awesome! It split in two! Oh crap! What's that thing doing now? Oh no! Suzuku! Recognize that power beam! 
Hey, Squid! Hey, get out of there! Let's go, Biako! <laughs> You are becoming a waste of my time. Yamato Holtzwein? But why? Right. Cerberus? <laughs> A demon's abilities? It can't be! Is this power your real family secret? No, it's my power, and mine alone. Inside, sir? Professor Kano? How are you transmitting? By retaking the space. What was that? No one left to stop us, remember? Ah, these guys come. You were just waiting for us to be defenseless. Exactly the same way you took space. Isn't he supposed to be in Tokyo? How'd he get here so fast? We were still fixing the transport terminal. It wasn't working yet. That's true. The Chief himself supplied the remaining magical power. There's no way a human being can do that. He's a monster. Communications with Nagoya have been restored, Commander! The infiltration team made it! We've retaken Nagoya! I don't get it. Sir, you would have died if you failed the mission. Why would you do something so dangerous? I don't believe it. You bastard! If you always had that power, you could have faced all these threats on your own! Tell me! Why did you let those people die fighting for you? Naive. Sacrifices like these must be made to face judgment. No one should have to do that! What in the hell is going on in your head? You're sick! After tomorrow, defeating the remaining Septentrians will require more pawns at my call. More pawns? Hibiki Kuze, you have become an exceptional pawn. I'm nobody's pawn! Emotions mean nothing to a pawn. You will return to my side at once and follow my orders. Is that gonna save anyone? Is it gonna save the world? Of course. Hibiki, you know better than to listen to this man. The detective. <laughs> Yamato Hotsween, I cannot allow a world. I cannot allow a future where the weak are just tossed aside. The egalitarianism you speak of is a pipe dream. If you can lick each other's wounds and survive, feel free. The invaders aren't going to grant you this mercy. No one will survive. Looking ahead, you survive past Judgment Day. What are your intentions exactly? We both know the world's gonna be in chaos. And you plan on ruling it. <laughs> ruling it? So the little guy gets the shaft one more time. Those who are blessed with strength should act to guide others. And that's all. All you JP members, listen to me! The Hootsween family has been preparing for a day like this since ancient times! Curse the blood on your hands! Uh, uh, uh. Uh. 
You want to challenge me? You peasants. You're making a mistake. What are you doing? You need to stop. Why should I? If you think you're going to hurt these people, then I'm gonna stop you. I can't understand someone like you. Your understanding is not required. <clears throat> Things have gotten quite intense, haven't they? Well, I never thought I'd see fellow sparking ones having a fight. It actually saddens me. Interloping snake. First time all three of us have had a chance to chat. You are? I am Alcor. Uh. Hibiki. Believe it or not, Yamato came here because he saw your dead face clip. Huh? Stop. That's enough. Tokyo, Nagia, and Osaka defending all three barriers I at once. I want to use this power I'm to Alcor, protect people. The what the hell is Did that supposed really to be? Did you really think you could stop me? You haven't changed I'm the only one who can stand up to him. Normal summoners won't have enough firepower. It's important to That's your choice. You can survive till the end. You're gonna is. live, guaranteed. Who's the crazy guy in the stripes? He sure doesn't look like he's with the JPs. Huh? Ugh, he became... Yamato Holtzween's phone got a dead face clip of me? Yes. The fight against the Septentrians will grow even more intense. You are a weapon, Hibiki. Nothing more. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop me? How foolish. <laughs> you sure are hard-headed. I don't follow you. Not to mention Lucky, Yamato. What are you saying? If you hadn't made it in time, Hibiki would be dead right now. Uh, Action must be taken, or a dead face clip is absolute. Absolute? Drivel. The notion of set fate is ridiculous. Cause and effect can be manipulated with strength. You haven't changed at all. My strength. What do you think of this? What will you do? It's an important decision. Stay with the resistance? Or will you... go back with Yamato? i 
I only want to use this power to protect people. Hibiki! If you go back there, they'll just use you again. <clears throat> you must be Ronaldo Kuriki of the resistance that opposes Yamato and the JPs. Am I correct? Huh? I would kindly remind you that this is his decision. So would you mind not making so much noise? You seem to know more about this than you're letting on. Why don't you share a few details with us? <laughs> <laughs> you were told not to interfere in this, human! It can talk? Are you in control of this demon? Bye, Franz. Don't do anything to him yet. Yet? What do you mean by that? You'll see soon enough. Alcor! Why do you side with the humans? I couldn't care less what happens to those puny creatures! Hey, Pipsqueak! Hmm? You are all responsible for destroying Nagoya! What? Too many humans talking! <laughs> Are you alright? Why, you! Don't bother! You can't call your little cell phone demons right now! Uh, shut your face, bonehead! Oh yeah? A bonehead, am I? You're going to burn! No, she's not, my Franz. Uh, that was twice. I, I was only kidding! He's not using a mobile phone. <laughs> A non-summoner shouldn't be able to stand right next to a demon like that. Are you a demon? Is that why you're here? I see. That's what you think? I get it, though. I'm Alcor, the Anguished One. I'm nothing more and nothing less than that. Anguished One? Who am I in all of this? I wish I could answer that question for myself. At the very least, I know I don't want to be your enemy. Don't avoid the question. I guess I need to simplify my answer. I suppose I haven't prepared an answer that you can understand just quite yet. <coughs> You've assembled quite the group, and all of you have learned how to use the Demon Summoning app. So you've all made the choice to live. That's pretty commendable. We're going to take you into custody. Don't try resisting us, either. Your turn. Gotcha! Stop it! Ronaldo, have everyone leave. I'll take them on. Oh, you think so? Huh? The demon summoning app you all use. You've been wanting to find out who gave it to you. It was me. Oh. What? You did it? What the hell is that supposed to be? They seem to be demons, ma'am, but there's no digital summoning signature coming from them. Okay, Chief. Is there anything you still haven't told me yet? What do you mean, you were the one who gave us the demon summoning app? Do you need a lecture on how weak you are? The human race is helpless in the face of the Septentrians. That's rather harsh if you ask me. So I created the Dead Face website and gave you the tools to fight back. That is, if you wanted to. You still have to choose whether to live or die, of course. So he actually created the demon summoning app? And he made the Dead Face site? And in so doing, I was able to find a new Sparkling One. Sparkling One? No such concept exists. One is either gifted or incompetent. That's all it takes to judge a man. 
Will you really take Hibiki back with you? Hibiki, will you really stay here? Hibiki, a Septentrian will appear again tomorrow, in three different locations at once. Ah! In accordance with the Unbroken Covenant. Tokyo, Nagia, and Osaka. The next Septentrian to come will be a Trinity. Defending all three barriers at once is going to be tricky. Yes, it is. Your trials are growing more difficult. From now on, only Byaku-class demons will be capable of fighting. Normal summoners won't have enough firepower, just like the Chief said. Hibiki, I entrust Osaka to you. Mm. Yamato. Could have started the conversation that way. Be quiet. Yamato. Listen to me. I'm not going to be one of your pawns. Hibiki, what is it that you're fighting for? My right. To use my power to fight for what I believe in. Without manipulation. To protect those who need it. I see. Irrelevant. The goal is eliminating the Septentrians, and that's it. No, it's not. <laughs> if you try instituting your own will, after I've defeated all the enemies they can throw at me, if I must, I'll stop you. You will stop me? <laughs> that's your choice? To just do everything by yourself? I'm the only one who can stand up to him. Shibiki. Sounds interesting. If you can survive till the end, that is. You can count on it. Something to look forward to. Once you defeat all the enemies they can throw at you. <clears throat> Mr. X Detective, stay here and run your little resistance. <gasps> Chief Hotswin. Are you saying I should obey you? Naturally. Your irresponsible actions have left this facility unprotected, and we're spending hours rebuilding our barriers. This makes you Nagoya's only defense. Best of luck tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> You'll need it. You don't have a choice. We will do it. And win. But I'm not letting you decide the future of mankind. And if you live, I look forward to that battle as well. If we live? If we live. We're gonna live. Guaranteed. What the heck's going on here? Huh? Was that really the guy who runs JP's bureau? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. And you are? Ari Bon, and the fellow standing next to me here is Jungo. Hello there. So who's the fashion disaster anyway? Uh, it's kind of hard to... Hmm? Huh? What the... He's gone! <sighs> the anguished one. Come on, boss! Wasn't giving them the demon summoning app going just a little too far? Surprising, I guess, that I would go and do something like that. What am I? I guess that has yet to be revealed. Huh? Oh, English one. You won't oppose the purge, will you? Investing ourselves in the fate of humanity is wasted time. I've seen evidence to the contrary, that humankind has unrealized potential that we don't see yet. You refer to the Spartan one, of course. Yamato may have decided to part company with me. <sighs> Such a petty thing it was. What are those clothes? That's enough out of you. I'm not coming back to this mansion. I see. How fast you've grown up before my eyes. It's finally begun, my creation, a world that suits my ideals perfectly. Where only the strong should rule? As guides to the incompetent, of course. It's still a vast improvement. So there's no other choice? Of course not. I shall bear humanity's fate. That's why I was born, why I've lived thus far. The purge of Polaris is merciless. There are no guarantees. You'll survive the purge. My survival is a foregone conclusion. So you say. Goodbye, Yamato. 
I certainly wish you'd been the sparkling one. Yamato came to rescue me? Friends and acquaintances, sparkling ones. Distracting and annoying. Transport terminal operation is stable. Transport beginning in five, four, three, two, one. Beginning transport. Field stable. Biological integrity has been verified, Commander. Magnetite consumption profile is within normal levels. Transport complete. <sighs> Professor Kano. Please stop using yourself to test the transport system. Testing? It's functioning normally. My adjustments were flawless. There is less than a 1% chance of failure. Shouldn't that be more like zero? There is no such absolute in science. Anything I've made is subject to entropy. You finished adjusting the transport terminal yesterday, and Chief Hootsween was delivered unharmed to the Nagoya branch. Even without the terminal, the Chief could have used his magic to fly there himself. But who knows if his body could withstand all the stress. That's frightening. Indeed. By my calculations, the chance of failure was slight but possible. Is this Kusei kid really that important? Mm. Well, is he? Why, yes, he is. Hibiki Kusei has become very important as a weapon. Mm. Well, okay by me. <laughs> So, Fumi. Yeah? What is it? Why do we all need to have physical examinations while we're still in the middle of a major alert? Ah, don't worry about that. It's just some research. What's with the checkups already? Because even the JPs are an organization? Meaning what? Like everybody has to manage their staff? You have to follow the rules or you'll get in trouble, know what I mean? Yeah, but at a time like this? It's the legacy of politics, buddy. Politics, huh? That adult stuff is such a royal pain in the butt. Not that we'd know. Say, Hibiki. Hmm? Uh, no. It's nothing. Uh, if you and Nita hadn't come yesterday, I would have been in serious trouble. <clears throat> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Stupid! No one's talking about that! <laughs> Come on, if you two hadn't been there, who knows what would have happened when Yamato finally showed up. Well, okay then. So it's a good thing we came. I knew it! You know I won't cut and run on you, buddy boy. Looks like we only have four of those things left to beat. Let's go knock them dead, shall we? All right. That's what I'm talking about. It's nice that he has such close friends. Yeah, Hibiki and Daichi have known each other a long time. I was talking about you too, Nita. Huh? Hibiki would have definitely had one heck of a time in there with that monster if both of you hadn't shown up yesterday. Uh. Okay, hold your breath. <laughs> the JPs is an intense organization. Truth be told, high school kids and civilians shouldn't be involved. Okay, make a fist and squeeze for me, please. So why did you join Miss Otome? Little poke here. <laughs> I was a doctor in Osaka. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. Family practice. Okay. But one day, I got a surprise visit from some people from the government. And well, I've been practicing medicine for the Bureau ever since. So that stuff actually happens. Supposedly, there was a really good chance of me becoming a summoner. And it looks like the government knew that. They knew about it, but I certainly didn't have a clue. Ugh. The government's kind of scary sometimes. At least when they start learning things about you that you don't even know about yourself. Anyway, I'm making better money than I ever was privately. My daughter's in good hands, and I'm glad for that. Huh? You really have a daughter? Mm-hmm. This is her. Your daughter's really cute. I guess that makes me a little mysterious. <laughs> no, I was just a little surprised is all. 
I respect you. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Being a mom is awesome. She's not actually my real daughter, you know. Huh? Okay, can you open your gown? Uh, um. Real or not, never mattered to me. I still love her. And it keeps me going every day. Is that strange? No, that sounds just about right. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I think you're doing the right thing too, Nita. Showing support for your friends and the person you like is definitely the right thing to do. Yeah. Huh! You said someone I like? <laughs> How cute. You're blushing, Nita. Come on! <laughs> to do it at a time like this. What do you think's going on? I have no idea. Look at you, being huh? pervy. Whatever, Joe. Bad habit, dude. Don't worry, I get it. She's kind of a cutie when you think about it. I was absolutely not sitting here trying to look at Nita. It, w wait, hold on! Can't fool me, little dude. Uh, uh, Let the pro show you how it's done. Joe, Joe, you gotta Joe. make like you accidentally open the door like that. Uh, what? Hey! What's wrong, Daichi? Uh, uh, Hibiki, it's nothing at all. Hey there, would you like to join our scientific investigation? Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, wait, it's not like that. Th that's right, it was Joe, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where the hell did he go? I can't believe you. You perverts! That was terrible, Daichi. She's done with us. It's a misunderstanding. I never thought she'd really be there, you know what I mean? Amazing. The bloom of youth. What were you doing taking off like that? It's not my fault if you two can't handle a crisis situation. You guys. Huh? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Uh, hey, Ronaldo. Yeah, what? So you're getting examined too, Ronaldo? <sighs> Gotta do it. I'm not gonna ask any of my people to do something I wouldn't be willing to do myself. Huh? You didn't have any doubts about the exam? I also got a good look at all their equipment and the medication they brought with them. You sneaky devil. And also, uh, I may not trust the JPs, but I've got a chance to get my people medicated. I'll take the charity and keep my people upright tomorrow. You really thought it through that far, Ronaldo? I guess I just did. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Later, guys. Mm. Uh, I really don't like that guy. Oh, yeah? Ronaldo's doing the best he can. We all are. You look like you're slacking to me, Joe. Ha! That kind of stinks coming from you. Ha! There you are, uh, you creepers! Huh? You dirty perverts! We were not oh. peeping or anything That's like that. That's bullcrap! How would you know anything about it? It's not like you were there to see us. Of course I was there, scumbag! and disgusting crap! You got it all wrong! Oh, there's nothing to get wrong about it! How about you choose which way I break your nose? Calm down, will you, please? Well, now that you mention it, that is a nice little tummy. <laughs> so, did you peep? By accident. Okay. Don't believe that garbage! Apparently, there's been trouble at the Nagoya Bureau. Is everything all right? Yes, not to worry. Yamato, you left the Tokyo branch yesterday, didn't you? Aren't you supposed to remain here in the city per our agreement? Is that not the deal we made with the Hotsweens? To launch the JPs in the first place? And you still must consider our safety, young man. It would set a bad example for our constituents using their tax money that way. <laughs> <laughs> Worthless trash. Simultaneous spawns detected in Tokyo, Osaka, and Nagoya. They're all in the ocean. The readings are still faint. The ocean? At this rate, a land attack will be completely useless. The scenario is based on maximum casualty limits for the cities. Water was supposed to slow down the Septentrion's landfall. Hurry and plot their landing points. Yes, ma'am. I also want an evacuation of all civilians along the Septentrion's projected assault vectors. Evacuate? Why bother? Back off. I'm the one running this operation. You're not being objective. Are you sure you're up for this? <clears throat> Destroy the enemy and that's it. Isn't that obvious? 
But it looks like we're getting something from Tokyo. Whoa, how do you alert main screen? Makoto Saku. It's been quite a while, Ronaldo Kuriki. Hmm. Hey, he knows her? Oh, looks like they have a history, huh? Let's go over the operation, shall we? The three Magrez are connected as one via phase space. This allows them to heal any damage not done to the same structure simultaneously. Coordinated, then. Most of you at Nagoya Branch are civilians, but you easily have more firepower than a normal JP squad. I'll say it now. Failure is not an option here. Just do it. We've got this, Sako. Don't tell us the obvious. Ibiki Kuze, your team will guard Osaka. Oh, what's happening? I'm scared. Commander Sako, you realize we're not with the Bureau anymore, don't you? I know that. You're still our friend. Can we count on you for this? Of course. So, uh, who's left to take care of Tokyo? I'm handling Tokyo myself. <laughs> hey, you guys. Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 Hinako, you're all right. <laughs> Little banged up, but I'm all right. Uh, uh, thank goodness. I thought you and Kata. I thought... Uh, Welcome back. I know you've been through a lot. <laughs> Fumi, you're supposed to be on standby. I found it. Found what? The sacrifice to offer Lug. I found her. <sighs> sacrifice? Still our you friend, are not right! touching my skin. You will live. This is where we're making our stand. You're an alien, or God, or the devil, but none of this is right. So that's McGrath, the fourth of Tentrian. Looks a lot different from yesterday's, huh? We're all kicking this thing's butt at once, right? That's right. We're counting on you. <laughs> it's not like I'm somebody you can just boss around, but you can count on me. You are not touching my city. So we're really the only ones fighting this thing? We are. It's better this way. It'll keep the casualties down. Mm -hmm. As long as we have Suzuku and Princess Kikuri, we should be fine. Right. You should go, Daichi. You, you dumbass! I was chosen to be a summoner, just the same as you, okay? You might be a summoner, but you're not using this right, you know. Shut up, will ya? Watch this. I'll get a demon that'll kick everyone's ass but all over. that thing. Knock it I off! I said give it here! No. Listen to me! It's mine! Come you on! You know how to use it. Get it back! Hibiki. So what's this? Everything I've dug up on the JPs and the Hotsween family when and after I was in the Bureau. Why me? You're the first person who'll get the whole story from me. You can read if you want or you don't have to. The choice is yours. But no man should govern the future of the human race. Just don't make the wrong choice, all right? Count on it. If Yamato tries his coup, I will stop him. Dead in his tracks if I have to. Hello there.
Gonna be easy. Sarasvati! Hagen! Can she go? Neko Shogun! Look at that! It's healing itself! No fear! So all of our attacks are useless? How are the other locations doing? Nita! Hibiki! Oh, I'm gone for a couple of hours and now they're completely in sync. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Got some new blood in here now. Come forth! Horizon! Avenge you, Keita. Oh, that's a really cool way to fight! A demon's strength comes from the strength of the one behind it. Get back! Go. Hello? Kuze, we've confirmed it on our end as well. That's the creature's core. Right there, huh? It's the same with Merrick. Bianco! No. Manifestation readings are spiking, ma'am! Oh, God! That thing regenerated! How are we supposed to defeat it if it keeps coming back? Hey, what's that? Move oh, it! Baal, keep that thing still for a while. Cerberus. Pathetic. Above the dragon stream, you ridiculous monster. I'm invincible. Is that Chief Holtzwins? That has to be his true power. Hibiki, former detective. Can you hear me? Continue pressing your assaults, as well as exposing the creature's center. Unless we stop all three simultaneously, Magrez will keep on regenerating. I will coordinate my assaults with the attacks you make. really is our only chance of success here. We can't let it get to the tower and destroy it! Yeah. That's good! It's over! 
over that way. Hibiki, it's coming at you. Got it. It's got unlimited ammunition. <laughs> we gotta get a move on and finish this. Mr. Senkaku is done for. This is where we're making our stand. Uh. Hello! A new dead face clip has been uploaded! <gasps> the Nagoya team. What? A dead face clip? Get your people out of there! I see. I'll be careful. Thank you. What are you saying? You gotta get out of there! Nothing to it but to do it. Uh, and only we can do it, little buddy. None of the other summoners will be able to beat Magrez. Hmm? You've told us about it, and we can avoid it. You showed all of us you could beat it yesterday. We have no intentions of dying today. Uh, Ronaldo, wait! No, Hibiki! It's coming this way! Everyone, fall back if things get too dangerous for you. Don't do anything reckless, all right? We'll be careful, Ronaldo. I will not. I will not let myself die here. So, could you go ahead and define reckless for me? Just be careful. Don't die before you're ready. <laughs> Whatever. I will not let anyone die here. You will live. Magreso is 3.5 kilometers from Sutentiku. Magres Inn is 580 meters from Nagoya TV Tower. It's not looking good. Plan B, people! Are we ready? <gasps> Are you alright? That thing... It's so close! If you would please. Simultaneous core exposure confirmed! Attack in unison! Biako! Huggin! Cerberus. Don't cry. 
Well, all right. We did it. <laughs> Destruction of the three Magres is confirmed, Commander. Ronaldo? Ronaldo! Ronaldo! Anyone? Otome? Say something! Django! You're bleeding! I'm fine. Really. No way. Wait. Where's the team? Hey! Stop playing already! This isn't funny, you guys! Come on out, I said! We all promised we were gonna live through this! <laughs> Makoto? The situation is pacified. All units stand down. <laughs> this is crazy, Junko! Ari, let's go. We'll catch cold. Where are we supposed to go? We don't have a home to go to! <laughs> Ari. choices just like me and I chose I chose this <laughs> it'll be okay what's that what's going on over there I don't see a sky huh there should be a sky. There's nothing. You're okay with this, sir? With what? The Nagia branch, sir. We defeated the fourth Septentrion. That's all that counts. The enchanted spear that the Hotswin family has guarded for generations. Brionak. It's been calibrated right up to the present. The rest is up to the skill of the user. That's irrelevant. We don't have the luxury of choosing our tools. Indeed. Ronaldo. And Atome. The fight was basically over and they died for nothing. What are the Septentrians? Why are they attacking? If I'm dreaming, somebody please wake me up. <laughs> it depends on your definition of a dream. Uh, so then, to say it like you would, this is reality. Alcor. You've got three left. What do you want? Is it fun for you demons to play with us like this? I imagine some of them would, given the chance. But your perception of me is wrong. I'm not a demon, dear boy. Then help us! You have the power and you won't! You make all those dead face clips? Come on, you obviously know something we don't! Give you help? I can't do that. Why not? This is humanity's final trial. You must show your own potential by overcoming the obstacles before you, or it will amount to nothing at all. Trial? You're kidding. Who could possibly believe that they have the right to test humanity like that? It is Polaris. 
the almighty keeper of order and unity. Polaris? Polaris has decided that, if it means preserving the world's order, humanity has not proven to be the most beautiful species ultimately possible. So is it... is it God? Again, I imagine there are a lot of people who'd think Polaris is exactly that. But really, Polaris only works to protect this world's natural order. Uh Humanity is strange, as life forms go. Even now, having lost the will to live, you unwittingly continue to thrive. In the view of the natural order, that is a most unnatural thing. Okay, it's unnatural, but we can't just be summed up like that. And come on, that's no excuse to just wipe us all out, is it? Of course. Valid point. Uh Hibiki. I've thought the same as you at times. Even though by rights, there's no reason I should think such a thing at all. No reason you should think so? Why shouldn't you? Because I am the sword of Polaris. I am a Septentrian. <gasps> Septentrians are tools. Instruments for maintaining the natural order as Polaris sees fit. You are one of them? And since I'm only an instrument, I really shouldn't have thoughts like that. Shouldn't have? I may be simply an instrument, but I think of humans and grieve. For me to be born and then question my creator's intentions, it might make one wonder if Polaris is almighty. So is that the reason you gave us this weapon? Is that why the demon summoning app is in our hands? I gave you a choice. If humanity wants to survive, it needs a chance to show Polaris its will. As an instrument, I cannot oppose Polaris directly. It's just not done. But I can give all of you the choice if you'll take it. I imagine you're confused. Of course I am. How in the hell can I possibly believe a story like that? I'm confused too, you know. Huh? Why then? Have I developed a conscience? If it's this painful, it would probably be better, I think, if I'd never had one. Just what am I, and this thing that I've become? Uh, uh, Will you not believe my story, O oh, sparkling one? Does Yamato know what you've told me? Yes. I've told him everything. And that unless you show your will, make your choice, this world will return to the void. What's that? Out there? Ah, that is the void. What is it? Absolutely nothing. No matter, no time, no ideas, no will. It is the void. That's what she meant when she said that there'd be no more world to live in. I thought she meant a war or something like that. Civilization, your history, the world, the fact of human existence, the very ideal of humanity itself will be utterly erased. Not the end of the story. No story at all. Erased? All those lives, all those feelings, None of it will have existed. It will all be gone. Seven days of arbitration were promised. If humanity overcomes all of its trials, it may stand before Polaris for the first time and be judged. Uh. The world of the humans that I've watched over for so long. Uh. This world of humanity that I have raised from nothing will return to nothing. If I can, I really don't want to lose what I've created. Oh. It's come to this. The consumption of the void. This is all that remains of the world so far. We knew it was coming, but I suppose it is still pretty shocking. Oh, this is... Oh. Matter isn't disappearing. Awareness and ideals are disappearing. This isn't death. It's far more pure. 
Non-existence. The fact that we existed at all, past, present, and future, will simply not be anymore. It's completely absurd. Why does humanity have to go through such a brutal trial just to prove itself at all? I'll defeat any enemy, but there's no point in surviving in a world that's lost so much. It's sickening. Can't something be done to save it and stop all this? I don't believe there's anything we can do to gain redemption. The world... will disappear. Good morning, oh sparkling What? One. What are you doing here? Just what are the Septentrions? Take a large mass on a trajectory towards you the city! You were born with a tremendous power. I'm positive. There's a better choice for you. Well, good morning, oh sparkling one. Uh, 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 uh Alcor! Yes, I'm Alcor, the Anguished One. What What are you doing here? No one told me to leave just yet. Have I been a bother, O oh, Spartan One? You don't have green tea, O oh, Spartan One? All, all I have is coffee. Is that so? Be that as it may, you were kind enough to make it for me. I'll be happy to drink it. I, I'm kind of surprised to see a Septentrian drinking. Yamato introduced me to the tea when he was younger. He said once, it's how humans make time to discuss their cares. Yamato did? Hmm. <laughs> Alcor, I have to know, just who is he to you? We're friends. At least I think we were. Uh, were? Even as a newborn child, his choices were limitless and his possibilities. Being born with great power like he was, he would make responsible decisions, or so I thought. But now you're not sure that he did. It's a shame. He made a hasty choice, closing the door on other possibilities, focusing on himself. What was he in a rush to do, exactly? To govern the talented and bring about a meritocracy in this world of yours. It has merits of its own when you think about it. It doesn't at all! Deciding who's weak or talented? No one should ever have the right to do that! Apparently, Yamato Hotsuman can do it. He lacks the reservations of other humans. Uh, uh. I didn't want to condemn or condone any of these decisions. I had only intended to observe these choices. But the stubbornness, shunning the possibilities that are all around us, is ugly. You mean we should think of another way? I'm not sure if you should, really. Hibiki, you were born with a tremendous power. I didn't ask for it. That's how it is with our gifts. We don't get to choose to have them. And even now, we're apprehensive about them. Uh, and that's the key. Keeping your mind active will help you choose. I'm positive there's a better choice for you. Ah, uh, coffee is definitely more bitter than tea. So you've got a sense of taste, too? Want to add some sugar, maybe? Let's try. Mm, I like it better this way. Thank you, Hibiki. 
Yeah, everybody takes it a little different. Your uh, giving me a choice has allowed me to like this drink. Little things like that are the difference in all things. Hibiki, that's why they're called possibilities. Uh, oh. So, Alcor, will you help humanity with our fight? I am merely an instrument of Polaris's making. I can offer no direct opposition. This is what I am. Guess I had to try. All I can do is observe. So you're just gonna stay in my room? Where else do you think I should stay? I don't know. Are you sure about that? What have you been doing in all this? Grieving. Because I can't make it stop. I am this thing that's acquired this feeling of apprehension. What does that make me? I don't know. If you're not our enemy, if you won't interfere, then go ahead and stay here. It would seem your perception of me and what I am has changed a little bit. Well, come on. If you really take the time to talk, anything's possible, I guess. Your understanding has brought us closer together. I'm happy. A sparking one. <laughs> Just what are the Septentrians? Please do me a favor and don't let anyone else know that you're here, okay? If anyone knew a Septentrian was in my room, it'd start a riot. I have ways of not being seen. Mm. Works for me. Hmm? You're, ah! you're supposed to knock Daichi. Whatever. Anyway, we've been thinking about- Hello. Uh -huh. Human beings. Ah! It's not what you think! Hey! Isn't that the guy? Ah! Hey! Wait, wait! Hang on, Nita! Come on, listen to me, guys! It's that weird demon summoning dude from before! Daichi, calm down! That's it, isn't it? You're trying to kill Hibiki, aren't you? You demon! I'll say it for you one more time. I am not a demon. What? A Septentrian? That's what he told me. He's a tool of the enemy? And he's not human? Uh, uh, when you look at it, him. enemies and allies are distinctions dependent upon perception. Alcor, please be quiet. What for? It's not helping. It's not? At least for now, he's not some enemy we have to fight, okay? I think. I won't kill you. You're really not helping with all these comments. I'm not? Oh, brother. If Hibiki says this guy isn't a problem, what about everyone else? Only we can know about this, all right? The last thing I want to do is cause a panic. Uh, yeah. I need you to trust me on this for a while, okay, man? We're gonna make the right decision. Uh, yeah. You're so wise. You know that, Hibiki? Still not helping. Guess you guys have gotten pretty close. Uh, hmm. Um, I, uh... What is it, Yonita? Well, uh... uh... It's just you're kind of floating a little bit there. Hmm. Ah, you're right. I do sometimes levitate. So it is safe to say you're not a human. Alcor, humans tend to keep their feet on the ground. If you say so, then I'll comply. You all right? Your face looks pale. Uh, I'm okay. Doesn't look okay to me. He's kind of spaced out. That's why we have to stay strong for him. Hmm. This foot walking, it's somewhat difficult. So this is a Septentrian, huh? Uh, yeah. The right foot or the left? Which foot should I start walking with is actually worrisome. I'm pretty Decisions, sure you can use possibilities. One. We have to choose the right path and not be too hasty. But still, with things like this, who can know what's right? Three enemies remain, and then everything in this miserable world will end. <sighs> and it shall begin. The world that should be. The world made right by us. Hey, little lady. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think you know me. Oh, you're little Miss Ari. Now you're making it worse. What do you want? 
Ooh, you're a mean little thing, aren't you? Such a waste of a cute face. How can you smile at a time like this? That's just weird. You gotta find something to smile about when life gets tough. Look, I'm sorry about what happened at Nagoya. Yeah, well, you don't need to worry about that. Listen, you gotta keep your head up. Hm. As if. We're here now. What's going on? You only called the two of us, Commander? Thank you. For this upcoming mission, we'll be needing your abilities. Mission? Sometime soon, the fifth Septentrion will manifest. The enemy. Oh? <gasps> only me and little Miss Sourbridges <sighs> can pull it off. That's right. Sometimes summoning the right demon for the right job requires an aptitude not all possess. Thanks to the data we obtained from yesterday's medical screenings, we know that the two of you are best suited to bring this mission to a successful conclusion. Bunch of perverts. Looks like you were doing more than just routine medical examinations. Disclosure was not required. <laughs> Beating the enemy without a partner on my back actually suits me fine. So what's the mission? You're standing watch over me? Well, I wouldn't exactly put it that way. We can't just let you wander around. But it's almost time again. Are you really okay being here? It's time. For what? The past and the future are governed by the natural order of the universe, you see. Why are only Hinako and Ari staging the assault while the rest of us are on standby? The 5th Septentrion Alioth will appear within the reaches of the Ionosphere. Unless one of your demons can strike 50 miles above ground, you're standing by. The Ionosphere? We'll launch a long-range intercept attack. Mythology, Mr. Kuze will become reality. Yamato. Contact! We have Septentrion spawn on sensors! Determining enemy mass! It's on a completely different scale! How big is this thing? Confirming. It's Alio. Altitude is approximately 80 miles. Location is within two miles Don't of- Don't bother. The Covenant is clear on this. We already knew it would target Sapporo. I don't have to be so damn cold. <laughs> this is the JP Sapporo Bureau. Mission prep is complete. Sapporo? Prep is okay. Ready here. Hinako, Ari. Oh, that you, Hibiki? Leave this bugger to us. We don't need you or your friends today. We're gonna finish this without you. Beginning mission. Cease all communications. Gotcha. Let's do it. We'll be back in time for dinner. Makoto. There's no need to worry about them. We can use the transport terminal to get them out of there. The two of them, anyway. Uh. Please begin the scenario. Shiva is a powerful god of destruction, normally uncontrollable. However, he happens to be fond of dance. Hinako Kujo was born into the Kujo family style of traditional dance. Her diagnosis revealed overwhelmingly higher compatibility than the dancers the JPs had prepared for the scenario. Entity Kama is a sensual demon who prefers innocent girls. The compatibility test identified Ari Ban. There's no accounting for a demon's taste. It's not a big deal. Let's just do this already. Kama was successfully summoned. Shiva was successfully summoned. Lead Shiva and Kama into position. Alio's power is in 
increasing. It's going to fire. Attention, Sapporo. Defensive barriers up. Repel Olios' attack. Understood. Open all Dragon Stream circuits. Deploy all defensive barriers. Kama is fixed in Shiva's firing range. Shiva, this lascivious demon is one who would disrupt your meditation, draw upon your anger, and attack. Shiva has charged Patpada Astra. <laughs> Paspata is reaching the ionosphere! Direct hit to the core! The core is dead. We've done it! I'm not sure. I see. So I guess that's how it's done. We'll be making our way to the transport terminal so that we can begin evacuating to the Tokyo branch. Understood. Proceed to gate three. Uh, huh? What is that? There's a large mass on a trajectory towards the city. It's Alio's shell, ma'am. Huh? It's falling towards Sapporo. Didn't they destroy it? Alioth is quite dead, Mr. Kuse. However, its carcass is still intact. It will eventually hit the ground. That's going to be the hallmark of the 5th Septentrion. Ground cameras have confirmed the shell in midair. Volume is 500 cubic kilometers. What's the status on our evacuation of the Sapporo branch? Complete for all building personnel. That leaves the staff at the special venues. Have them hurry. That's the shell? The thing is huge! Miss Cujo, hurry up! Evacuate! The shell! It's gonna smash the city! That's everyone, Commander! Alioth has impacted this city! Visual confirmation impossible. Magical shockwave approaching! Wait! How is the tower? Fine, sir! Sapporo Tower is still up! Uh, what about the people? Unfortunately, there's no way we could have taken in all the civilians. Uh, huh. Situation contained. Yamato, you knew about this! Of course. I knew the enemy's capabilities. If you really had a better idea, feel free to air it out. Humanity... has... nowhere left to run. Yes. The void is expanding. There's nowhere in the world for anyone to run. Two more days. Will a single human survive the storm that's coming? Or will... no one? The promised day. The Septentrion onslaught, the world's transformation. The Holtzwein family has known of this for hundreds of years, but they and the lawmakers kept it a secret, selfishly keeping power for themselves. Yamato Holtzwein wants to survive the promised seven days and make a new world that follows a so-called civilian refinement curriculum the government designed. The JPs knew about it just like they should have, you know? So the world we're all stuck with right now ain't exactly fair. Do me a favor. Just don't make the wrong choice, all right? I live while others have died. I have to be responsible for everyone else and survive. They're a problem, 
This supper was especially prepared for this. Don't you think supper actually sounds kind of scary? Like the last supper? <sighs> Don't put it that way. So tell me, Chief. Why did you throw this dinner all of a sudden? Alioth was defeated thanks to you and Ari and your unique skill sets. This is a modest thank you. How could I possibly think of food at a time like this? Sapporo was crushed and all we could do was watch it happen! What's the point in doing any of this nonsense? It feels like an insult to all that have died. Mm. We all have our crosses to bear. <laughs> Meaning what? Surviving requires you to shoulder your burdens. And when you're no longer capable of bearing those burdens, then you will certainly be the next one to die. Whatever! I'll keep on fighting tomorrow and the day after that if I have to. Well then, you should probably have something to eat. Mm. I like it better when you cook. Mm -hmm. I'll make you something later. And you, Yamato? You're saying you can shoulder the burden? Of course I can. And I've never once considered it a burden. Human beings feel sadness and anger. And a wounded heart needs some time to repair itself. That's a misuse of time. Not everyone is like you and can turn their emotions off when it suits them. Then they should admit their weakness and willingly obey the strong. But that's a world without any kindness. Nita. <laughs> What is it to be kind? Is it the complacency of licking the wounds of another person? While you're sleepwalking through your life that way, incompetent masses are causing the world to fall into disrepair. Or hasn't that occurred to you? Uh, uh, take it easy, will ya? Well, you've obviously got some other reason for bringing us together. <laughs> you've made it this far, so I would ask all of you to share your decision with me. Our decision? The enemy invasion will end in another two days. Huh? Really? Two days? We can finally leave Tokyo and go back home. Yeah, I'd like that. Therein lies the problem. Uh, Once we've defeated the final Septentrion, the humans who have survived this ordeal can meet Polaris. What the heck's Polaris? The almighty being that governs the natural order. What? The enemy has a boss of its own? Polaris is the arbiter of cause and effect, able to see the past, the present, and the future. You're saying it's God? Daichi, you may consider it such in that worthless brain of yours. I hate that guy. But we'll have peace if we can beat it, right? If we could pull that off, uh, the world huh? would be in far more chaos than it is today. Still, I actually think that would be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm sure yes. you would, since it's your plan. The JPs want to show Polaris the formulas for this new world, and then you institute your meritocracy. Yes. Guess you're not a total idiot. What was that? Go on. They're trying to recreate the world in a way that suits them, and only them. Ronaldo knew that, and he tried to stop the JPs from making it happen. But if what you're saying is true, then all of us who are left might be able to have our wishes granted. Wouldn't we be able to have our fallen friends back? One can wonder. You would have to make a case to Polaris that bringing back friends and loved ones is a benevolent choice. However, the reason we're under attack to begin with is the perception that our place in the natural order is off-center. This is crazy. This whole thing is just so unbelievable. Nita. The world's update will be shaped by the wills of those who intervene. Then, this grand scheme that the government and the Holtzween family have had since ancient times will be complete. Isn't that right, Yamato? Well, isn't it? Hibiki, you're giving my ancestors far too much credit. Uh... The plan in question has always been my own. I won't allow human garbage to meet with Polaris. The natural order of this world shall be rewritten by me. It will be a new world where the talented govern the rest. I trust you feel better now that everyone is privy to the plan that's in place. In two more days, you can obey me or feel free to die in the world to come. Everyone think long and hard on this tonight. Yamato! You might be right about this new world of yours. But it's a disaster. No one could possibly be happy in this unfeeling world you want to create. <laughs> Your happiness and understanding are not required. I've stated what I will do. Those who oppose me are unnecessary. Call me our enemy if it suits you. 
You're welcome to stop me. Disgusting. Why are people so unimportant to you? <laughs> I'm the one shouldering their burdens. That doesn't give you the right to be indifferent to them, Yamato. <laughs> How incredibly naive. Hibiki, you will stay at my side till the end. If my existence is truly a sin, then be there to pass judgment. Promise me that. Be my arbiter. I can count on it, Yamato. Two more days. If we can survive, this will all be over, but I... I don't need some new world when the old one was just fine. I just want to go home. <laughs> yeah, come in. Makoto? Can I help you, Commander? The mission for tomorrow has been decided. Ionita, tomorrow you will... die for us. And if I make this sacrifice... I'm sorry, but you need to accept Begin this. the scenario. Nico! Stop it! Please, stop! No! Let's go! Nita! Ionita, tomorrow you will die for us. <gasps> You're the only one who can beat tomorrow's Septentrion, King Lug. Only you can be a vessel for such a powerful demon. But the problem is that there's no chance of surviving. <gasps> And if I make this sacrifice... No! It'll keep everyone else from dying. Yes, it will. <laughs> Ionita, I'll be sending for you tomorrow. Go ahead and get your rest. I tried my hand at breakfast. Why? Wait a minute, you mean you went outside? This is a rare chance. I wish to learn what I can of more human customs. Oh, are you sure you're really a septentrian? Please, help yourselves. Go ahead and eat. Well, I, uh... Oh. It's really good! Nita. It can't be, can it? Oh. Awesome! It's like a rainbow in my mouth. I cook, but I could never make something as good as this. It's all right, Nita. I mean, he was probably floating when he cooked it. it yeah. I'm not sure that would affect the flavor. Yeah, but it's incredible! What did you put in this, anyway? <laughs> huh? This is sort of a fun breakfast, you know? Uh, I guess. We should share all this with everybody else. We just won't see that Alcor put it together. Well, that's unfortunate. Gotta keep it secret. They turn you into a lab rat in half a heartbeat. Sounds a little scary. Uh, Nita. Uh, two days. That's all we got left. And then we're done with this. <laughs> Let's survive. If we do, I'm sure there's hope. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's win this. Hey, come on, you guys. I'm fighting too, you know. Get out of here, Alcor. You're useless to me. Nothing more. But I came to see you. What do you hope to gain from it? There are no guarantees. Yamato, Mizar will be here soon. Are you okay doing things like this? By summoning Lug's entity? I mean sacrificing Nita. You know that fragile human flesh shouldn't be possessed by something so powerful. She will certainly die. She need only last the battle's duration. It's curious, the interest you're showing in the individuals involved. What to make of that? Indeed. I find it to be quite unsettling to have these feelings myself. Are you planning something? You know I can't. However, 
I am pained that it will cause them misfortune. Really? Hibiki, you're so dissimilar. I doubt he will be rational when his friend is sacrificed. And what of his friends? Such things are meaningless. How oh, very sad. Keep feeling that pain on your own, for eternity. On my own? There is no pain if you abandon emotion. Like you have. You be quiet. Seriously, what happens if I let that happen to me? Who knows? If you can't decide for yourself, then I'll be happy to do it for you, of course. We're finished here. <laughs> It's time. Okay. Keep an eye on it. It's here, huh? What the heck is it this time? Mizar! It's manifesting! It's on Tokyo monitors. Uh, uh, it's coming here? Daichi, have you seen Nita? Do what? The last time I saw her, she was with you. Okay. Uh... The Septentrion's Mizar is going to launch a direct attack targeting Tokyo's magical barrier. So what can this one do different than the others? Yeah, what does it do? Replication. Huh? Repli- Once it appears, it will continue copying itself forever. How are we supposed to beat that? Then I guess we attack it forever. That's impossible! Control yourselves. Mizar's attack has already been foreseen. There's no change to the plan. What plan? Nobody told me about a plan. Because you are all unnecessary. Yamato! What in the hell did you do with Nita? Watch and be silent. Everything's ready here. <gasps> oh my god. Pulse, blood pressure, summoning coefficient are all normal. It's shocking. You're the perfect host. Luke will enjoy being inside you. It's almost as if you were born to contain him. Words of comfort would be meaningless, I suppose. Yes, then I'll spare you. All things considered, this plan has the highest possibility of success. It's the only way we have left. You must die for all of us. For all of you. Yes. Let's go. What's going on? You mean you're just gonna sacrifice her? That's right. Forget it! But she'll be okay after it's all finished, won't she? Possession means offering one's body to a demon. There are no guarantees. <gasps> what the hell good is that? Nita! What do you think you're doing inside that thing? We can find another way to get it done, all right? We can go and attack it right now. Unlimited replication or whatever. We just have to go beat it, right, guys? Let's do it! There's no other way, Commander? Yamato... Let's stop this while we can. Let me fight it! Meaningless. The enemy is a Septentrion that replicates endlessly. Both your Biako and my Cerberus at some point would run out of energy, my dear boy. Then we'll look for some other way! And while we waste time saving a friend, Mizar smothers the surface of the Earth and kills everyone. <clears throat> Manifestation increasing! Mizar is appearing in Ikebukuro. Begin the scenario. Lug must be summoned. <laughs> Lug's summoning has commenced! Magic feed from the Dragon Stream is stabilized. Lug is appearing! Luke 
possession of Ionita is complete. Sixty seconds until Ionita's mind collapses. Stop it! Please stop! No! Let her go! This is for the greater good, Daichi. Sacrifices like this aren't fair. I'm sorry, but you need to accept this. 130 seconds until Nita's mind collapses. Lube control device, activate. Lube control device connected. Mental link successful. Interface ready. So it begins. Lug, release the full power of the Dragon Stream. What is that? The form in which Japan's Dragon Stream has manifested. It is the Dragon Shako. The trump card we've set aside to combat these are. Nita has 60 seconds left until she collapses. It will suffice. Devour all, O oh mighty dragon of Japan. At the moment, we have no physical means to contain it. All we can do is make Shako, which is connected to a different universe, consume and isolate it. Lug and Ionita are acting as Shako's operating terminal. Unfortunately, we can only use them this one time. Nita has 30 seconds left! I'm coming, Nita! <sighs> 10 seconds to mental collapse! We've beaten it. has been destroyed. The plan was a success. Well, at least we have for now. <laughs> Eonita's mind has collapsed. No signal from the medial prefrontal cortex. It can't be. Nita. You bastards! <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Nita, outstanding. Nita! Kuze, are you okay? What's happened to Nita? Ionita has no mental readings. Uh, she's been completely overtaken by the deity Lug. Kuze, she's not human. It can't be. Hibiki, that is Lug. Now kill it. Uh, 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 uh. My release has finally come, after ages of waiting. You trifling humans have cost me greatly, descendant of Hotsui. This is the first time we've actually met, Lug of the Long Arm. To think you would place a god in a prison, even treat him as a tool, you're all heretics. And what of it? From this point on, the chosen humans will have no need for gods. Now then, I know you've only just awakened, but you've inhabited a frail body that can't sustain you. You have a handful of minutes in this world. Don't resist it. I could kill you now. Don't force me. Minutes, minutes will, will be, be more, more than, than sufficient. sufficient. I, I will show you what happens when fools ridicule a god. You, you first, first told me. Uh, 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 Nita! Uh, uh. Lug is headed this way. Is he upset? I guess he would be. Hibiki, can you hear me? You must defeat Lug at once. Stop it, you model! Daichi, I don't recall giving you permission to come up here. 
That's Nita out there! What are you doing? The powerless should hold their tongues. Is being powerless really such a bad thing? What in the hell's wrong with you? Did Nita say she was okay with this? There's no way she would. You pushed her into doing this, didn't you? You freaking monsters! We got her consent. It's even in writing. You sons of bitches! Is this what humans do to each other? <laughs> Makoto! What in the hell have you made her do for us? The situation is desperate. You must put aside your personal feelings for the sake of us all! Not when you're choosing who lives and who dies! You can't do that! You and your damn JP friends are only thinking of yourselves! Stop whining, Daichi. <laughs> Shut up, Yamato! You bastard! <laughs> Why? Why do you have to be her? She pushed herself into doing the one thing that scared her the most. She forced herself thinking she had to be strong. She was the sweetest thing. Why would she sacrifice herself to you? Luke is approaching. <laughs> Nita! Boat Swain, your sin was assuming you could survive by using a god as your personal tool. Now you will repent! <sighs> Stop this! <laughs> Impressive demons. You, you would seem to be a skilled sorcerer for a human. Isn't there anything left of her? Please, give her back to us! Impossible. This girl's spirit has returned to the void. Her body will soon collapse as well. Because they made you possess her! That's, That's right. right. It, it seems she was coerced, coerced into it, perhaps. But, but in the end, end, she still chose to make the sacrifice of her own life, thinking she was going to save others. others. Uh. Sacrifice? She chose it? I heard the final cries of despair from her heart. She was a weak-spirited girl. I will soon destroy this body around me, and then the world is next. How shall you conduct yourself on the brink of such despair? Yamato! Why are you hesitating? Hibiki, I've been waiting for the moment when you were ready for this fight. Such a shame. Uh, uh, Bob! Finish it. Stop it, Yamato! Suzuku! I won't let you hurt her! Ionita is dead. Stop being so naive. I am going to protect her, damn it! That is what I promised her! <sighs> Humans are foolish, regardless of their maturity. <laughs> Seems this body is reaching its limit. Mr. Hotswing, you alone shall be punished! <laughs> Uh, uh, he uh, 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 what are you doing? What's going on out there? The Dragon Stream's magical power is surging! It's the chief? No, ma'am. It's Hibiki Kuze. What? Hibiki! <laughs> I see. So that's the truth. Dragon Shako has chosen Hibiki. Interesting. Of all things, to think he actually had the same abilities as Yamato. 
I don't doubt it now. You and I are following the same path. We are the world's guiding lights. Hibiki, take my hand and join me. I told you, my choice is to use the power I've been given to protect other people. The Dragon Stream's magical power is escalating, Commander. Damn it. There's no way he can handle that much power. Seal it off before it kills him. I can't stop it, ma'am. Is there another way we can shut it off? Do not interfere! Nita! I said it was no use, human. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You know that's not true. It's a lie and you know it. There's a girl in there named Nita, and I want her back right now! <gasps> Nita isn't gone. I know it. You're here! You're right in front of me, and I'm not letting go! <laughs> Please, Nita. Don't you let go. You have to live. You don't have to die. I have to do it. I can, Hibiki. I just don't have any other choice. I have to do this. By giving up and dying? I won't allow you to do that to yourself. But I can't do it. I'm not strong like the rest of you. Holding the pain back. Putting on a strong face when I want to quit. It hurts so badly. <laughs> What am I going to do in a world without my mother and father? I miss them so much, and I can't keep going on. It hurts. I can't be strong like everyone else. It's okay to be weak. <laughs> uh. Don't underestimate the Dragon Stream's power. I'd say our hero is a complete wreck. Hurry and bring him in. He's probably half dead. <laughs> we're not going to kill him. He'll get the best medicine and magic. And we're going to make sure he gets well again. Because that boy is my property. This horrible war will be over tomorrow, won't it, Mr. Hotsuin? That's right, and you will see the future that is to come, if you survive, that is. You can't make me follow you. I will choose, and I choose to stay with Hibiki. Suit yourself. Even if I must fight you all, it will be a trial needed for humanity to evolve beyond its disgusting present. And of course, I'll just kill all of you. But we have to win this here. final conflict, no matter we what! We can do it, all right! Stop babbling Wait. and protect the thing just destroy What's all our demons! On? We will destroy God. This is as bad as it gets. He's a freaking kid. Damn it! Damn it! This would have never happened to Hibiki and Nita if I was a more powerful summoner! To be stronger. So how's he been? Any changes? Uh-uh. He's still unconscious. <laughs> Hibiki? Come on, Nita. I know you're depressed and all that, but it's not like it's your fault he's in here. <sighs> You gotta stop beating yourself up over this. It wouldn't make him any happier. I'm sorry. You're right, of course. It's tough on everyone. <laughs> All of us are hoping he's gonna pull through, you know? Thanks, I appreciate it. He's alive. He's gonna make it. You should get some rest. We'll take care of things somehow. <sighs> So Hibiki won't be coming back here anytime soon. I guess I can understand. Alcor. Oh, ah, it's you two. How long do you plan to play around with these humans? 
Excuse me. This was meant to be the trial of humanity, Alcor. Ah, you're right, of course. And maybe I've neglected my role. It seems I've taken a liking to these human beings somewhat. Yes, I've actually grown to appreciate them. I do not understand such a concept. Personally, I would far more interested in knowing all about the total void that will visit the humans once they've lost hope. To live with them, of course. A difference of opinion. Interesting. <laughs> right now, this is how strongly I feel about it. Do miracles and wishes and intentions and hope truly exist beyond the natural order that Polaris so neatly maintains? It's nothing but a broken cog. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Don't be crazy! I follow you, sir! I see. I... if you'll excuse me. Grown to like them, have I? I do think I've become strange. Well, I'm going now. Because I must see things through. This is the world's fate and I have nurtured it. But I may be its undoing as well. There we go. I've completed it. This new model is based on the Deadface app, which, I hate to say, is much more powerful than ours. I went ahead and ported everything from the old devices. Tomorrow will be our final battle. It's our time now. <sighs> I think we both could use some rest. Fumi, thank you for all you've done. Stop it already. There's really no need for you to thank me. I did this because it's fun. Mm. Good night. Good night. Good morning. How's Hibiki? Not yet, huh? Hope he stays asleep today. Yep. We'll take care of the last one while he gets himself healed up. I don't want to push him any more than he already has been. You're probably right. Hibiki's done more than enough for us. There's no reason we should cause him any more pain. Oh, that's bullcrap. <laughs> Looks like I can't get a demon stronger than Lorelei. Man, this sucks. I can't even get a demon stronger than the sad ones I've already got. <laughs> yeah, well, I told you before that the demons you get are tied to your ability. So you're telling me I'm a weakling or something? Give me a break already. It's amazing that you've made it this far without killing yourself. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We don't have to be mean about Look, it. If things get a little too tough for you, you can always just hide behind me. Yeah, maybe the I will! Chow on Mushi! Are those our morning rations? No, nope, wow. I made them. With a little help. Oh, well, look at you, girl. <laughs> that is really good. Right? Jungle used to work at a restaurant for a while. Yeah, but I'm still learning, though. Yeah, I wondered what kind of guy you were before. I do love a man who can cook. I thought you were a thug or something. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, if you stay all creepy and quiet, people won't get to know you. Hey, it just kind of dawned on me. We haven't taken the time to introduce ourselves. Oh, I guess you're right. I'm Ari Bond. I'm a high school freshman. I'm Jungo. Jungo Tori. I'm a chef. Hinako Kujo, traditional dance choreographer. Daichi Shijima, just graduating, trying to go for college. I'm Ionita. I'm a senior. You really got two years on me, Daichi? Yeah, so you should probably be calling me sir. Yeah, I think I'll keep calling you pervert. Yay! Yeah. She's gonna cry again. What's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Come on! Enough with the apologies already! Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Ugh, you just did it again! <laughs> I did, didn't I? You girls are too cute. 
Hey, everyone. Let's celebrate by exchanging emails with each other. Right this minute? Come on, what's the harm in that? Well, I don't know about what you have what do you mean by celebrate? Well, I was just thinking, I mean, we've all become friends, haven't we? Yeah, I think I would agree with that. Here, I'll send out mine. Not again. This is bad. <gasps> it's here. I think the last one is here. The last Septentrion. Sapporo, please come in. Please come in. Is it that with a single attack? Sapporo is being consumed. It's the final test for us. Readings are gone. It's transported. The defining trait of the final Septentrion is its sheer power. It's a beast, combining all the abilities of the prior Septentrions. Not exactly what I would call fair. Osaka has gone completely silent. Their barrier's been destroyed. Western Japan is being eroded. I can't believe JP Base has got crushed like that. It even makes sense to have the barriers. Every one of us are criminals. We withheld the truth from people, turned our back on others, and even used demonic powers so that we survive until this day. We have to win this final conflict no matter what. All of you can hate me if you need to, but now we need your powers to deal with this. Yeah. But the dead face clips. We should do it all right. The dead face clips can be beaten. You mean the ones from Nicoya? I see. Now Naga has gone silent, Commander. Power such as ours comes with grave responsibility, such as the trial imposed upon those who have been granted the greatest gifts. Move out and engage the enemy. You don't have to tell us, you know. We're gonna do this thing not because you ordered it, but because it's what we need to do. <laughs> Mr. Holtzwein. You coming? Of course I am. I'll attack the enemy with full force, and we will destroy God. Hey, Vicky, you're such a good boy. Always such a wonderful help. Don't make more work for your mother, all right? Right. I won't, Dad. Okay, Mom? <laughs> What's the matter? Get off him! Here's your little sister back, sissy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you know they're gonna pick on you too if you do that. Why? You didn't do anything to them, Hibiki. Stupid bullies. I'll smack them around if they do. That's so cool! It's like I understand you way more than the teacher, Hibiki. That's because you're not concentrating in class. Whatever. I'm back. Hibiki? You haven't been coming straight home lately. It's alright. Just taking a break. I'm saying this to help you, son. Think carefully, then make the best decision possible. Yes, sir. I'm not studying anymore. You've been putting in a lot of work, Daichi. If I didn't, we wouldn't be at the same school. Know what I mean? You know, I'm sure the classes are going to be tough here. I wonder if I'm going to have to keep on proofreading your homework. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <clears throat> so tell me, Daichi. Huh? You've managed to get into school. What are you going to do now? Tell you what. I'm gonna enjoy being young and free. What about you? <clears throat> Sounds good. Yes! yes.
Just do what you have to. stream before we were done with them hmm can't say we weren't anticipating this but it was ready for us the disruption wave destroyed our D data let's give our friend a taste of his own medicine trumpeter neutralize the disruption wave has successfully blocked the wave. It won't call for the same trick again. A friend's dead face clip has been uploaded. <gasps> This is what it's like to die. <sighs> Bastard! I'm waiting for my power. Seriously? Same here. Oh, crap. I can't see anything else. <laughs> Pony may have blocked the enemy's power, but we have to wait for our demons to heal. I can't do anything more to keep them safe. There's nothing left! Chief, get back! Ah. No matter what the sacrifice is, I must not be beaten by this!
trembling and protect Nita! It's up to you now. Beat this thing. What's happened here? Uh, Hibiki! And what about the others? Hibiki, I can't... They're all... They're all... Uh, 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 uh. Hibiki... Just destroy all our demons? Uh. Look out! Uh. 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 You left them behind, didn't you? You abandoned your comrades! Nuisances are of no use. Yamato! What do you mean by nuisances? You use people like they're things, and then you just throw them away like they're garbage? Enough debate. I've already told you that mercy and compassion are luxuries we can't afford right now. We're nothing without it! A human being who is lacking compassion isn't human at all! What can you gain? Through Polaris's power, I will create the new natural order. Then humanity can thrive as it was meant to be. You mean the way you mean it to be! We're here right now because of corruption. Changes must be implemented. If you can't understand that, then it shouldn't be you who changes I things. I don't understand! How in the hell could I? I don't want some future built on the deaths of my friends and family! Then what in the world could you possibly want? A chance to fix it, just like it was. All we want is to protect what we already have. It can be twisted and broken, and that's just fine by us. Let the human race fix its own problems. You ignorant fool! If they could have made it right, they'd have already done it by now! The weak don't deserve the light of hope. That's why you want to bargain with Polaris? No way! Hibiki, I had wanted you to follow me, but you've chosen a most unfortunate path.
We've survived the seven days of judgment put before us. The human race is victorious. We're not done. Yamato Hotswin, I can't let you go. Hibiki, would you execute me then? Because if you won't, then kindly shut your mouth. But if you try to impede my progress, I will definitely kill you. I don't think so, dear boy. Huh? Hibiki will not die by your hand. fighting for all this time. What the hell is the point if we're still in danger? What happens now? I'll follow Chief Hootsuite, and that's my choice. Makoto, move it, Hibiki! So it has been decided. The world is ending. Hibiki will not die by your hands. Alcor! Our trial is over. There's no reason for you to be here, Alcor. Quite right. You have indeed passed the trial of Polaris. However, I still believe a test of my own will is in order. Your will? That strange talk coming from a flawed Septentrian. The will that has grown in me is absent in the Order of Polaris. It's a strange feeling. I'm sure. I believe that I should kill you and leave hope in Hibiki's hands. Huh? Leaving hope... to me? <laughs> really, now... Let's do this. All right, Alcor. Are you ready? Of course, Yamato Hotsuin. My very first and longtime friend.
The trial of Polaris. The seven-day fight against God has ended. The world we've inherited can be reshaped through the wills of the survivors. But what's the right choice? What did we hope to achieve? What were we even fighting for all this time? We defeated the seven Septentrians like we should have. But what the hell is the point if we're still in danger? The trial to test humanity is over. And now the survivors gain audience with Polaris. What happens now? If Yamato gets things the way he wants them, the law of the world will be rewritten and his new sick world will begin. We won't have any choice in it? It will be as though the world was his from the beginning of time. Oh, God. I don't want something like that. That's why we've got to stop him uh, now. Hey, hey, hey Mickey! Hey. Your power seems to increase the closer you get to the tower. I see. Does this mean you actually lured me here? Our connection comes to an end today. Your final lesson is about mortality. I'm actually rather interested in that. However, it's a shame you won't be teaching me about it. You need to die, and I'm the one who's going to make it happen, Yamato. So Hibiki can gain audience with Polaris instead of me? Yes. That's my hope. Of course. It's strange I come to think this way, isn't it? Fascinating. The sparkling one. Yes? Right. Meeting him has inspired great changes in me. For the first time, I became a person. Not a part of an unrelenting machine. My heart is now pounding over a future I can't predict. It's thrilling. You've deluded yourself. Or maybe you're just broken. Is that right? This whole time, Yamato, that young human has intrigued even you. I guess we're both broken. Neither my goals nor my intentions have changed in the slightest. He's merely a chessman on the board. A pawn. Ah, is that so? Now you sound like almighty Polaris himself. Listen to me. You're a device, Alcor. You weren't meant to think. <laughs> Give up this flight of fancy and you can come to the new future with me. Yamato. Your future is one where there are no flights of fancy. Sounds rather dumb. A friend's dead face clip has been uploaded. Well now, I'll do it. Alcor, you're going to die by my hands. <laughs> Yamato's and Alcor's dead face clips. Okay, then which one is right? I have to go. If you jump in there now, you're gonna die. Those guys are monsters, Hibiki. What are you gonna do against them? <clears throat> I made a promise. I said I'd stop him and judge him, and I intend to do so. You promised what? It's crazy, I know, but here's the deal. It's the one thing that we shared that comes close to being... to being human. <sighs> Hey, Makoto! Huh? I'm going to assist Chief Hotsuin. You, you can't really mean that. Uh. You can't help him, can you? Nita, Daichi, Hibiki, I've caused you a lifetime of heartache since the day we met. There are no reparations I can make. It wasn't your fault, Makoto. I mean, you were only following his orders, weren't you? Look, I know right and wrong can be kind of complicated. Yes, exactly. Who knows if this is all right or wrong. However, regardless of what happens to me, I'll follow Chief Hootsween. And that's my choice. So you're saying you love him? You make it sound foolish. <laughs> I lost all my faith in what the world had become. Injuries kept me from being the athlete I used to be, but my mind was sharp. He gave me a world where I could use it. The Chief gave me a sense of purpose and belonging. I may have been in denial all this time, dedicating my time to his goals and using my skills to do those things. 
there's a future he wishes to create for everyone. I want to help make it happen. And that's all. You can't be serious when you know the future that he wants. When you lose hope and someone gives it back to you, that is a powerful thing, Kuze. I haven't had a say about my future for a long time. But don't you see? Now you're willingly throwing your freedom away. Hibiki! That's going too far. Well, he's right. Perhaps I'm weak and I'm only able to place my hope in others around me. And Yamato is a source of hope? He is to me. Oh. Athena isn't ready yet? A friend's dead face clip has been uploaded. <laughs> uh, uh. Makoto! The dead face clip can be avoided, right? All three of you survived a posting, if I remember. But it's insane to just run in there! Right again. But I was ready to lay down my life from the beginning. If it's for his sake, I don't have any regrets. But it's just not right! You're intelligent, Hibiki. And that's why you just don't understand. <gasps> Do me a favor, will you? Look out for the chief for me! Wait! Makoto! Why would you say that? Why would you tell me that? Yamato. There are limits to your human physicality. Even if you can wield the power of a dragon stream. It's time. You're not just facing me now. Silence the misfit. Outstanding, Yamato. It's why you're the first human I chose to spend my time with. Severus! And you're still waiting for your other demons to heal themselves. Your demon summoning app. Mm -hmm. It should judge my summoning abilities. And then it should allow me to summon an appropriate demon? Yes, that's right. It's made so that more powerful demons can be summoned as the user grows in ability. Well now, I see that you've beaten Bennett Nash. I'll be using this. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, our game together is at an end. for living. Thank you. Uh. Makoto. You damn fool. Hmm. She thanked you? You really were her hope. A waste on you. Alcor! <laughs> Nebiru! Salgongen! My, my. I could actually be at a disadvantage.
How long has it been, Yamato, having fun like this? Fun, you say? I never thought a moment in your company was fun, Alcor. Really, now? Those words sadden me the most, Yamato. You said you were an observer of human civilization. I made you a playmate, and that's all. I see. You took pity on me and kept me company. Thank you. I need to ask you one thing. Why did you always keep coming back to me? Because you're interesting, of course. When you were young, I really thought you were the sparkling one. Of course, but I wasn't this sparkling one that you believed in. <sighs> Yamato, the path that you're trying to take is darker than black. It just might be. Haven't you stopped to rethink things? It's hardly necessary, so I shouldn't stop. I was born into a world already corrupt. The inept have the luxury of looking the other way. This society is beyond help. Someone must be willing to bring about necessary changes. It falls to me, since I'm the only one who can do it. Can't you see what's lost? Through the use of brute force? Doesn't matter. That is a sin I will bear on my own if I must. Yamato, why would you bear all those sins on shoulders so small? Human hearts are fragile, and they break so easily. You'll be quiet. You were born with extraordinary abilities, being different from other children around you. You were restricted, bound by the responsibilities of the gifted. And you attracted me, and I loved you as a kindred spirit. Shut up. I've beaten you. That may be so. But if I don't stop you, you're still going to kill Hibiki. Damn you! I'm sorry, Yamato. It appears as if I've broken you, haven't I? What are you saying? It was I who guided the Hotsuin along this path. I thought it was for the best, but it's only caused you pain along the way. Yamato, I've truly enjoyed our time together. You have? Anyone who'd enjoy this is an imbecile. But I guess I'll play with you again. That's where I lost you. I told myself you'd get past it somehow and realize how wonderful the world could be. Yamato, somehow... There's hope for the new world. What are you doing? Are you going to kill both of us? Yamato. Yamato! Alcor! Goodbye. Don't do it! Yamato, is this the trial? I've had enough, Polaris. Are you satisfied? Are you? <laughs> Have you come to stop me, Hibiki? <laughs> Yamato, where's Alcor and Makoto? Those wretched fools. <laughs> They're dead. That's right. I killed them myself. That's your choice? You had to go and take it that far? Of course. Uh, uh. It has begun. The change. Then the world is ending. It will take but an instant for the world to be rewritten and made anew. The gate shall appear before us. It's the transport terminal. Time to make your choice. I will be going to see Polaris. Yamato! 
The fact that you and the others fell in battle allowed us to defeat our enemies. I am grateful. You're cutting them loose on purpose? If you plan to stop me, you'd better try and do it now. If you can defeat them, that is. Yamato! Oh. His physical limits were reached long ago. Did you uphold them for me? Fare thee well, Hibiki Kose. What the hell happened here? Yamato took the terminal to meet Polaris. So that means Alcor's... Mm -mm. Hibiki... I thought he's a Septentrion, right? That should give us an idea of just how powerful he is. No, no way I'm doing this. I can't follow that monster into his new messed up world. A monster. <laughs> We'll take care of things down here. Huh? Isn't that right, Nita? Mm. Don't worry. We made it the past seven days, haven't we? We're pretty tough. I cannot leave you. Who knows what will happen if he gets the chance to rebuild his new world? We have to stay together. <laughs> I sure wish we could do that. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Besides, you're the only one who can stop him. Hibiki! <laughs> Together we made it to the end of the trial, so it really wasn't in vain, was it? Now get up there and do what you were born to do. Uh, 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 Move it, Hibiki! You're the only one of us who can do this! Just like he wants. That's a good thing, right? You know he's gonna get it right, because he's smarter than we are. We're fine. You're right. Uh, who are we just talking about? My memory... I'm losing track of my... Yeah, I think he was... our friend. Maybe... he was a friend. Why is this thing happening to us again? But, really, I think you should know what's... Huh? Who am I? It, it's like I'm so nervous. <laughs> Yamato! Hibiki. Both Nita and Daichi both disappeared. Now the world is just you and me. I see. I never thought you'd reach Polaris' side, but here you are. And now... It seems Polaris won't see me until I've settled things with you. So it has been decided. Yamato, I'll keep my promise. Which one? that I'll beat you and have that audience with Polaris myself. You're not hesitating anymore. That's good. Well done, Hibiki. Cerberus! <laughs> Yes.
Yamato, I'll keep my promise so you no longer hesitate. Hibiki killed far too many then people! Honor me and kill me! What's that? Demonic fusion. Yamato, I'll keep my promise. Which one? That I'll beat you, and I will have that audience with Polaris. So you no longer hesitate, Hibiki. Biako! Cerberus. could you possibly be angry about? You killed far too many people! That is the reason for presuming to judge me? Pitiful. If someone hadn't done this, no one would have survived this ordeal. Someone as intelligent as you should be able to understand what I've done and why. Trust me, I understand every bit of it. But there's no way I can accept it. I'm not letting you get away with this because of your justifications. All of those lives were thrown away for your ambition! How sentimental. I'm human. I'm like that. Are you saying I'm not human then, Hibiki? <laughs> Impressive, Hibiki. I'll have to say it. Your power level is now equal to mine. And that's just another reason I'm going to stop you! Why do you think you were granted power like this in the first place? <clears throat> of course, it's an ability you were born with. But think for a moment. What is ability? From the start, you and I, even those with lesser talents, were put on the same playing field by Polaris. We're chessmen. <gasps> I think it would be more fair to say that this fight is an act of God. This God of ours is broken, and not some almighty infallible being. Who finally survives, Hibiki? That alone seems to have been left up to us. I don't understand the criteria for selection when you consider that the system is broken in the first place. <laughs> consider Alcor. He was bound to one day be manipulated by a clockwork of fate. Was that because the system is imperfect? Or that he himself was flawed and incomplete? At this point, there's no way to know for sure, is there? You knew all about this? Intelligent conjecture and inferring God's reasoning has changed nothing about this fight. I'll survive, then use Polaris's power to remake the world as I see fit. That is all. You would erase and rewrite all that's happened. All the emotions that existed in the world like they were never experienced? That's right. Yamato, if you do get the chance to reconstruct everything, you might be able to create a wonderful place. Call it a desired evolution. Maybe, but it would be forced upon us. It wouldn't be our world. The 
world our friends died for. The one Daichi and everyone else in the JPs wanted to protect was the world we used to live in. If that wasn't the case, we wouldn't have suffered or struggled or anguished so much and so often. To rewrite the natural order, to just make the world we lived in disappear like that? Yamato, come on. Isn't that the same as choosing your own death? What? Choosing your death? What do you mean? A choice like that is too sad to live with. And that's why you'll stop me? Yes. Hibiki, what is living? Making choices. Always thinking. It's the way of the world and how we discard the past. And I say the world is the result of constant mistakes, erroneous choices. Of course it is. You're right, but it's the world we created. And if it's changed just by you and not by the will of us all, the rest of us will be miserable without choices. How naive. Naive and willing to fight for it if I have to. And you, Cerberus? Our world is like a terminal cancer in need of treatment. Proposing change through individual will is obviously the rambling of a blind fool. Hibiki, why can't you understand it's too late for humanity? Even if that's true, do you really feel like you have to do this to the rest of us too? I do. If I hadn't done it, if I hadn't taken control, no one would have lived to see today in the first place. <laughs> this is rightfully the responsibility of anyone who is born with power. Our dreams and desires are not part of the equation. Uh, I never wanted this power to begin with. Yamato. <laughs> It's a heavy responsibility. There's nothing heavy about it. Oh, come on. Are you telling me no one's ever tried to help you before? Help? Unnecessary and meaningless. It does have meaning. Trying to do everything by yourself is pitiful and lonely. It's okay to be weak. It allows us to work together. Humans are always alone. Whatever. That doesn't make any sense. Why in the hell did you come to Nagoya to help me out? So you'd help me. You were needed for the overall plan. I let you have the battle experience on the ground to make you better. That's not what I'm talking about. You were sent by dead face clip. Why would that happen? You weren't on my friends list. You want to tell me you're alone? Well, a lonely man doesn't have any friends, Yamato. A friend of yours? That's ridiculous! <laughs> Yamato! <laughs> I have to see this through, Hibiki. Yamato, enough! <laughs> Hibiki, it is enough, right? To try and change things, you don't have to do all this. I have a friend. He's about to make a mistake. I'm saying stop. So stop it already. <laughs> Let's get this fixed. And then we can... We can be friends again. Friends again, you say? That's right. No more fighting. Just normal friends. Yamato? <laughs> You're somewhat strange and interesting. You're pretty strange, and interesting yourself. Perhaps I should have looked for you and brought you into my circle a little sooner than I did, Hibiki. Yamato, don't do it! I've started this and I intend to finish it. If I could change the decisions I've made, I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. I will preserve what's left of my dignity. If you call me your friend, Hibiki, then honor me and kill me. Yamato! There's no reason for us to be fighting anymore! Come! Nebiros! Zao Gongen! None of you ever fully realized the power of the demon summoning app. What's that? 
Demonic Fusion. Not even Shaco's protection can reach you here. I guess you're not going to stop me after all, are you? <laughs> Farewell forever, Hibiki. <laughs> what in the hell is that thing? Daichi. It's Daichi's. And more. It can't be. Impossible. It's not impossible. Every one of them was always with me when I needed them. How can you receive the demons of the dead? It's ridiculous! Thanks, everyone. Prepare to fight. I need all of you! Berserker! King Lu! Lorelei! Jack Frost! Zonjotin! And the Purple Mirror! Suzuku! Paulus Athena! Eriok! Bianco! Loki the Tyrant! Metatron the Angel! Loki! Metatron! What's that? Lucifer! Forcing change on the rest of the world without choice is immoral. I mean, I also wish everyone could live their lives with intelligent foresight. But Yamato, no more of this. You don't have to bear it by yourself anymore. You did it. You really did stop me, Hibiki. I promised, didn't I? I know. We'll meet again. Polaris, there's something I want. You wait long? Sorry about that. Nah, it's fine. You're headed to college, right, Hibiki? 
I mean, that's why you're taking all these practice tests on Sunday, right? Yeah, for now. Besides, I can't think of a better way to spend Sunday. Sounds like you. Still not sure what I'm doing. Huh? Well, think about it. If you manage to get into college, what are you going to do when you get there? Well, find something I want to do. Okay, so what do you want to do? Uh, go on dates and trips and stuff. <laughs> and go driving. Daichi just got his license. So you want to goof off? All that work is for losers. Oh, really? <clears throat> then what do the winners do? I don't know. I'm just so nervous. It's like somebody else controls our future or something. Yeah, that's true. But you know, things will work out somehow. Whoa, Hibiki. That's pretty optimistic for you, you know. Really? Huh. Well, it's because you know how to study. You're not really that anxious like me. You're just gonna have to try a little harder, Daichi. You wanna do another study session with me? <laughs> we just got done with a bunch of tests. Can we not talk about studying for a little while? Uh, that's right. There's something I've been wanting to show you all day. Wanna see? What is it? Give me your phone a second. And hang on. Ta-da! Nikoya? Yeah, it's Dead Face. A very secret but totally awesome app. What's Dead Face? You register for this joke site, and then you can see the faces of your friends when they die. It does what? That's just ridiculous. So anyway, the really funny part about the whole thing is that he left... Uh, huh? What? Over there. It's Ionita from Class C. Okay. Friend of yours? Uh-uh. I wish she was a friend of mine, if you know what huh? I mean. Looks like she's coming home from a practice exam. She's pretty, isn't she? Yeah, I guess. And she certainly looks like she's your type. What's that mean? You're right, but still... Excuse me? You just take the practice exam? <laughs> eh? Holy crap, what are you doing talking to her? Hey, man, you're the one who said you wanted to be friends with her. Oh, God, she's looking over here. Uh... <laughs> Daichi, she didn't run away in terror. I love you. I recognize you from school. What were you shouting about? Well, uh, I wasn't flirting. No flirting. Sorry, but Romeo here can't control himself. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, there's other ways huh? to meet friends. You're actually easier to talk to than I thought. The truth is, I just don't open up right away. Uh-huh. I sure wouldn't have guessed it from here. Honestly, you guys don't seem to be very threatening to me. <laughs> I guess that was a compliment, wasn't it? What the heck, Hibiki? Why are you so quiet? You know, you seem to be just fine. Uh, What's up? Hibiki, what are you crying for? Huh? Oh, wow. I guess I am crying. Are you okay, dude? Do you need to lay down or something? Can I get you a water or something? It's nothing, really. I'm not sure what's up. I'm just glad. Uh -huh. Huh? Ah! Looks like we've already gotten another video clip from Deadface. Huh? Are you guys signed up for that, too? You too, Nita? Friends invited me, but I haven't signed up yet. It sure is popular, isn't it? Let's see what we got. <laughs> You're dead, dude! Not the most tasteful sight, is it? You're really spacing out on us. Oh, wow. I get it now. Hey, Hibiki! <laughs> My wish, what I want, is to have the chance to fix things. It's true. Humans are immature, just like Yamato said. I get it. That's why we have to change. But you know, if one person has to bear all that sadness, it can't be the right way. I remember. Those seven days are coming back to me. I know how humanity gets destroyed. About all the trials. 
the questions, the greed and ambition. If we do nothing, the cycle just repeats itself and we meet the same fate. And that's why we all have to change. Not by being forced to, but slowly, of our own free will. If we do that, then at least we've got a chance. What? An interview beats me. Oh, the camera's this way? Let me tell you my job. To get that gold medal! Hinako, what do you mean? Why are you leaving the studio? I want to see how far my dancing can take me out in the real world, if you know what I mean. I'll think about taking the studio over once I get back. Ah, see you tomorrow. See ya. Mama! <laughs> hey, you. Going out on your own is really dangerous. I told you to wait for me till I came to pick you up from the daycare, didn't I? I'm sorry. Oh. Come on, let's go home. Yeah. I bet you're hungry. Yeah. Come see me. It was a competition, hey, you right. big stiff. I had to work. Sorry. Huh? I know you rocked it. Here, have some Shawan Mushi. <laughs> My baby girl is getting out of the hospital today. So it's natural I'd be the one signing her out. I'm sorry, sir, but you looked a little bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Joe? Ah, looking good, baby girl. Hmm. So you're saying this has everything that everyone in the gang has been pulling off? Yeah, I ought to be called the detective, man. Yeah, you should. We ought to be able to nail the guys in the cabin and giving them protection soon. Okay, but you might want to step a little more lightly around these wise guys. Yeah, that won't happen. I'm not going to sit around while people start abusing their power. If no one fixes it, I'll just go fix it myself. All right, then. Do the right thing first. Other people take the hint. And more people join him on the bandwagon. Huh. Well, hello there. Look, son, what is your Just problem? Just let me in. Please, I have to see it. I need to confirm it for myself. And what do you think you need to confirm? I must confirm that Yamato Hotsween is still here. Mr. Hotsween? What the heck for? It'd be pointless to explain. Please let me through! Uh... <gasps> Yamato. Mr. Hotswain, do you know this man? I don't, because I... I would remember if I had any friends. <sighs> <gasps> Thank God, we did it, Yamato. It's a good day today. What, sir? Don't worry. Oh. It's just my state of mind today. <laughs> I've watched over humanity for a long time. But it seems I'm no longer needed. I'm happy. And maybe sad as well. Humanity has shown its force of will. Life is always anxious, painful. They will always continue to think and continue to make their own choices. You got it right, Hibiki. I'm sure humanity can choose the right direction. After all, I've seen the miracles they can do. We will live. We will survive.
Bye.